Hello, hello, adventurers. Good evening and welcome to Adventures in a Stary. You know, without much more ado, because I do a lot of ado, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to bring on the group. Uh, hopefully they're ready. Like, put away your chips. Uh, let's bring them on. <laughs> yeah, look at these beautiful faces. Hello, everybody. Um, I will say to everybody watching at home, I'm using some new technology tonight and trying to figure things out. So if there's any issues with audio or visuals or anything that goes a little bit like buck wild, please let me know and we'll do our best to fix it. But so far, look at this gang. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Welcome to the Auroraverse, everybody. Welcome to Asteri. Um, well, I'm gonna start real quick with uh, little introductions to everybody. Um, we're gonna go in the order that we see them on stream and I'd love if all of you could give me the name that you go by IRL um your character name you don't have to say much more than that we'll get into that trust a lot uh your pronouns and uh anything else you want to say i'll throw some links in the chat um please follow all these amazing people um but christina why don't you kick us off yeah. <laughs> don't forget to unmute yourself though you're oh wait 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 are you are you muted yeah you're muted you're muted Okay, we're start. We're starting good. Wait, wait. I think I might have muted you. Jeez, <laughs> Louise. Idea, yeah. Okay, you're good now. You should be able to talk. <laughs> oh no, no. Why? 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 Okay, go. Oh, give no. me. Give me now. Okay, now. Y yes, now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, yay. Uh, session zero. Um, I'm Christina. Everyone, she, her, uh, and I will be playing Aussie. Also, she. Tell me what you do in life and what you want people to check check out about you. Oh, uh, yeah. So um, usually I am found over on the Agents of Damned uh, podcast and uh, I run our Twitter over there. So if you guys ever want to interact with us, you can find us over there at Agents of D. Um, or if you just want to hang out and talk with me, uh, I'm at Greekachu pretty much everywhere across social media. Amazing. We started with a mute. You know, it's 2021. We still haven't learned. I still haven't learned. I'll own it. It's fine. <laughs> um, but then we got that out of the way. All right. Uh, Kat, give it to me. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Kat or Catherine. Um, I am the founder and owner of Nerdlandia Gaming or Nerdlandia Network, which we're changing our name to. Um, we do lots of streams all week, um, as well as travel stuff on my end. And I will be playing MK Skip Hop. That's all. Thanks. Uh, Murphy, great hat. Tell me Thank you. Uh, <laughs> about your internet presence. <laughs> My, you didn't ask anyone else specifically about their internet presence to anyone who wants to know. I don't have one. So uh, that's not entirely true. You can follow me on Instagram at quickluinski, where I used to do a lot of drag queen stuff. And these days, not so much. And I will be playing Bill, who's hat is. Amazing. Uh, Val, you're up. Hi everyone, my name is Valiant Dorian. I am a Twitch variety streamer, as well as a TTRPG performer and GM. Um, and for Adventures of Asteri, I will be playing Zoltana Bright Touched. I personally use he, him pronouns, and Zoltana Bright Touched uses she, her pronouns. Thank you. Amazing. I'm sorry I didn't give my pronouns. It's he, him all around. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for catching up. With the Sorry. internet. <laughs> she, her, hi. Uh, we'll get there. It's it's listed on the screen. Uh, your yeah. characters are not, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, Jem. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jem, um, AKA Disabled and Fab, which you may guess because I am in fact disabled and hopefully fabulous. So fab. Um, I am going to be playing Jezebel Feuerwerke, although I just realized that if I'm gonna give her an Austrian accent, the name would be pronounced Jezebel. So we'll see how that, I'm gonna workshop it. Right. I do my own streaming. I would say variety streamer, but I tend to get hyper fixated on a game. Currently we're on Danganronpa 2. I do voice acting there. I speak a bunch of languages and I'm really tired all the time. Uh, so if you wanna find me anywhere, it's just disabled and fab everywhere. Uh, I don't know how many wheelchair using streamer, whatever people you know, so. 
I'm kind of easy to find. Yeah. 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 And vocal, last but certainly not least. Oh yeah, hi. Uh, I am vocal, Outburst. Uh, uh, I will be playing uh, Fernell Laethy. Uh And uh, you can find me on many things, Vocal Outburst. Uh, my Twitter is V Outburst, and that's like the only uh, like variant um, handle out there. Um, I like all things nerd. Uh, so if you're a nerd, I like you. You're great, <laughs> and everything you do is amazing. Uh, and, and that's, that's the gist. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So let's, I'm so excited for this y'all. Uh, I'm so excited that you all are like giving me your time and your energy. Anyways, let's just get into it. Okay. This game is taking place in a continent called Asteri. Asteri is approximately like 400 to 500 kilometers across. Um, I'm sorry, Americans, you're going to have to do the math. Um, it is approximately like it's a little bit bigger than England. Um, this is a sort of typical like fantasy vibe. We're playing 5e D&D. This is sort of low, sort of late, mm, late medieval, early Renaissance technology with, you know, magic. Asteria is a place where um, magic is common, sort of. I would say about like... 25% of people on Asteri have magic, but large magic, magic that affects the land, magic that affects people's minds, is very much looked down upon. Around uh, just over 300 years ago, there was a massive war in Asteri. So bad that there is almost nobody left who survived that war. In fact, there was a massive scar across the land uh, left from that war. And everybody knows that sort of the the cause of that war was magic and the gods and people playing too much with you know the power of the gods and the power of big magic so in Asteri uh any magic that it gets a little too big is looked down upon across Asteri the races that are common are humans dwarves elves gnomes uh half orcs um any other races outside of that, like Firbolgs, uh, Genasi, Tieflings, things like that are very rare. Um, they don't, this is sort of like a sort of secluded continent. It's across an ocean. It's a little bit hard to get to. It's uh, very rare that people come in and out. Um, and it's a, it's a fairly like lightly populated uh, area. Uh, Asteri has a handful of cities. Uh, and a handful of small communities, but it's not like super densely populated. The biggest city here is called Draconia, um, and Draconia, just to give you a sense of the size, has two universities, um, and that's by far the biggest city, almost double the size of any other city here. Um, that's sort of like broad strokes where we're at. Would anybody like to uh, begin? Does anybody want to jump in and tell me about their character? Come on, somebody jump on in. I'll say yes. I'm also saying yes. <laughs> like the, the stage is so big. Go on, go on, Jam. You said it loudest and first. Let's go. Oh God. Okay. Um. So yeah, my character is a wild magic sorcerer slash fighter multiclass because I realized that magic isn't looked kindly upon, and so I figured I should probably sneak something else in there. Um. So I don't know if you can see the character portrait on stream. I don't think you can, but my character portrait is a combination of her casting fire and also she has a massive axe on her belt so you know we got we got both sides covered here um her last name Feuerwerke means person who works with fire uh because i think i'm funny and that's usually <laughs> how i name my characters but uh what else she has a 19 charisma i don't know how i got that but uh get ready people uh she's an entertainer She's an Eladrin, so it's an elf that changes with the seasons or based on their mood. So I designed her to be in uh, what they call the summer style because I wanted her to be kind of like impulsive and reactive. But apparently that can change based on the player's discretion. So that could be as simple as going with the actual seasons or something more like as you emotionally mature and you become calmer, maybe you go more into autumn. So I'm not really sure about that. Um... I don't have much of a backstory yet. I would love to tie it in with someone. And I really wanted a pet. 
and I have found that there is a demon chicken called an abyssal chicken, and I think that'd be funny as hell. Even if I don't use it in fighting, I just think it'd be really funny. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Lore Explorers! A whole bunch of subs, everybody! That was so, thank you so much. Oh, uh, wow. And we're gonna talk about them later. Uh, please hold. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about, okay, I don't want to interrupt. So tell me, okay. Uh, oh my god, all the sound effects, thank you. This is so excited. Um, so you will see also in chat um, people's uh, names and their, their race and class come up in the chat. Oh my god, thank you everybody. This is so exciting. Okay, so tell me Jezebel. We were talking about this. So just so everybody knows that's watching, we had sort of like really preliminary, here's a little like paragraph about my character, but today the goal is to sort of decide exactly sort of how maybe a couple of them have met and how i'll give it away now we are starting this adventure in a city called Doronia. it's sort of the like artistic hub of a stary um and that's where everybody is going to for some reason um find themselves when we start the actual tale next week a little bit this week but mostly next week um so where we were talking about this a little bit but you said jezebel is from like a, a much smaller community right so i had it that she was going to be in like a village from the forest sort of like a small town girl living in a no um but and she <laughs> living in a what kind a lonely of world small yes i was gonna say the 30s yes um <laughs> She's a performer, so if I end up singing, I end up singing, and I'll blame it on that. Um, but yeah, so I had a, like kind of this idea that in her village, magic wasn't really super frowned upon. Because um, I don't know, elves in the forest always make you think of magic. Mm -hmm. So she used to entertain people by doing sort of like magic tricks, especially with fire. And then she wanted to explore the world and be an entertainer. But once she found out that people don't really like big magic, she started learning stage magic tricks, picked up some fighting... I also had an idea from a backstory uh, prompt that was on D&D Beyond that she might be on the run for making fun of the wrong person who's like in a sort of noble place or maybe uh, just somebody with a lot of power or, or just that people like and she's a dick. I don't know. Yeah, so I, <laughs> so I think it's awesome that's how she learned that you're <laughs> a performer, but you're not a bard. So just yes, so everybody knows. Yes, that's what I wanted to go for. Yeah, you're a sorcerer, right? Sorcerer fighter. Yeah. The fighter part, I did just remember looking at my backstory, is specifically because she thinks that somebody might want to get her for whatever reason. So she's like, ah, might want to pick up the old act and uh, trained get up that a little. going around too, because I can't blow up everything when I want to. Okay, um, I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on the screen where we show a bit stage of the, on fire, world, our mansion. Uh, the world map. So let's see if this works. Yes. Okay. So this is sort of a little bit of the idea of the, the world map here. Um, some of you might have seen a bit of this last week when I was doing a bit of introduction. So uh, we were talking about suggesting that maybe that Jezebel is from Arburn. Um, so Arburn is a, the smallest community sort of of note on Asteri. There are other like small communities, of course, that I've not talked about yet that haven't been like put on the map so to speak but that's sort of like just north of where we're we're starting this thing um so is that do you still think that that might be the place do, have you had another idea since then is i think that that's fun and then i it could even be like she's running from there or just she kind of wants to wander i like both of those ideas oh so sorry about the dogs um the thing that i'm really hoping to uh, figure out in this session is mostly just what kind of character voice I'm going to do because I, I can do a lot of accents and I haven't decided what I'm going to do for this one yet so I might play off other people but I would like to have bonds with other characters too I think that would be fun that's um, yeah. yeah yeah I would love to find and we'll we'll talk as we will sort of like my plan for today is to sort of go from like out here and then zoom in to where we are as characters and people so i'm thinking that okay maybe you you grew up in a seri i mean sorry mm -hmm. of course you did in arburn but maybe you went to draconia and caused a little shit oh yeah and then got chased out of there the other thing that could play into this is when i rolled on the trinket table i got the love letter so I sort of had this idea of having like a background of a string of lovers and she actually fell for someone really hard and then once they left her she just decided to break everyone's hearts and like 
no emotional connection. That's... I can't play characters that aren't a little bit fucked up. I have to. Sure. I mean, I, mean, I can try, but... <laughs> we're all trying to work through things here. <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's see, right? That um... part actually does not reflect me at all. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. Or, or you know, experiment with things. Sure. Fair enough. Um, okay. So I'm gonna put your token for now on Arburn and okay. as your hometown. But then we'll mm -hmm. see. Like maybe via Draconian, we'll figure it out from there. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I'm okay. To I'm gonna go back to the main group, y'all. I'm so excited that my like setup is working so far. I hope I didn't jinx it by really saying good. that. But here we go. Um, let's go back to the it main looks so group. Good. Oh nope, that's the wrong one. I just said, and then I messed it up. It did a back backup of just our pictures in case any videos dropped out. Anyways, here we are <laughs> back in, in video land. Um, does anybody want to go next? Did anybody hear anything in that story that sort of directly ties into what they want to do? Um, I would. I also picked Arburn. Great. Arburn. <laughs> How do you say it? Arburn. <laughs> Arburn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I asked. I asked Stella uh, where maybe it would be swampy, and I got Arburn as an answer. So I have. Uh, I have set Bill growing up in a rural way outside or in and around that area. Yeah. So Arburn sort of has a bunch of these little rivers leading into it. So it's quite swampy. It is quite a, like fertile and a verdant around there, but definitely like yeah. kind of swampy. Um, so that's a good place if you're like Swamp Man. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you want to tell us a bit about Bill, etc.? Bill. Bill is um, a half orc ranger, mm -hmm. and I picked the uh, subclass uh, Swarm Keeper for him. Uh, so he uh, will always kind of have a small to large, depending, I'm assuming, on what's going on, a swarm of insects around him. Uh, they're cool though, they're chill, don't worry. Uh, he is in his early 50s. Mm -hmm. Um, and he said he- What? It's his prime, don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's in his 50s and I'm, I'll, I'll say it, if I say it once, I'll say it a hundred times. He's tired. Yeah. <laughs> he's a tired dude. Um, he has, um, back home in Arburn, what he would describe to you as, um, a contemporary blended family. I'm sure I'll let him fill everyone in on that. Mm -hmm. But he does have a family back home. Um, and they have a bit of a funny entrepreneurial spirit about them as a family unit. And uh, they run this large kind of parcel of land. It's a ginormous swamp property that they call the ranch. Sure. And that's where Bill learned to do all of his rangering. He apprenticed under his wife's uh, father. And that's where he got all his skills from. But he's tired. There is a lot happening at the ranch. There are a lot of people and a lot of children. And he wants some solo peace and quiet that time. So he has, you know, he's using his own entrepreneurial spirit and is kind of setting up shop in Deronia to make some money to send back home. Are you cowboy? because we're from the same place because I will go full Southern Belle which ironically was my last character but I can do I again. mean I he was gonna be a little Appalachian but all right Appalachia <laughs> if you're from Appalachia you say Appalachia not okay. Appalachian in fact <laughs> I can send you TikToks of somebody I follow from anyway sorry sorry Amazing. great yeah, great love it yeah uh, okay. so yeah yeah he's uh that's his that's his deal um we were brainstorming today about what kind of jobs he could have I think he uh and I, when I say set up shop, I don't mean in any kind of formal way. I'm thinking more whatever the like a scary version of having a food cart is. But he does like a bait and tackle shop and sells his honey. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, there's so on on Deronia. Let us go back to the map. <laughs> Starlight. Um, I'm just into it. Look, let me let me be proud good. of my technology working. Um, Live your best life. <laughs> be. Over in Deronia, where we're starting over here, um, there is sort of like a, a big sort of tributary. I don't know. What are geography? Um, between land masses? What's it called when it comes from an ocean? It goes between land masses? Is that a tributary? That's just a river. It's just a tributary a river. would be smaller rivers going off a bigger river, like Great. branching. Great. So there's just a river. Oh wait, between the land masses, like the big one? Yeah, so sort of like, um, let me find That's that. That's probably name. more like a gulf yeah. or a cape, maybe? Yeah. Cape. I think. Gulf. A gulf? Okay. I would say cape. 
great. My Anybody? geography teacher is so mad at me right now. Yeah, I don't know. I, Same. I hear my high school teachers like just, screaming. I don't, yeah. So there's water between Veronia and this random island over here, which maybe we'll talk about later. Who knows? Any teachers um, in the chat? Yeah, if if somebody knows geography, in <laughs> not chat, geography, yeah, but yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should because I'm an earth science major, but I genuinely can't remember any terms right now. Oh, my brain's so dead. <laughs> we we are TTRPG performers. It's yeah. fine. We don't need to know math or geography. It's fine. You have enough math already. Oh my God. God. I can't yeah. tell you how long it took me to figure out like just distances. I will figure out. Oh, I remember that, that chat yesterday. Oh my God. That's, chat. that's a that's like Florida though. Yeah, right? or Florida, yeah. So what's, or what's I'm called? in Florida. I should know this. Yeah, what's no, Florida's the, not a uh, water uh, called between there. Florida and the main America part. Isn't that is the it Gulf? Gulf? Yeah, yeah, it's the Gulf, Gulf of Gulf. Mexico. Uh, Gulf of Mexico. At the okay. bottom of it, at the curve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> glazed. We got there, guys. We got there. Yeah, it's, we're gonna yeah, call it the Gulf. <laughs> so we're doing great. We're nailing this, everybody. We're nailing this. So over here. It's, There's a bunch of water. There's some water. <laughs> Presumably. Water. It's really good for fishing. That's literally all yeah. I had to say about it. So it would be a great place for Bill <laughs> to set up his stand. Really That's great literally. beaches. There's a casino. Just have a great time. Yeah, great. Great. An inlet. Now they're now yeah. chat's just naming yeah. everything. An inlet? <laughs> a street? An inlet? A, a street. That sounds right. I think my Maybe boyfriend is asleep, yeah. but he would know this. And you were doing the Bill Nye thing. His name is Nye. Yeah. Bill, 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 Nye. Bill, Bill. Bill knows also what that water is. Anyways, that so Bill would probably set up sort of there is like a, a sort of dock coastal region in Girona when we get when you get a more, more zoomed in map. But yeah, definitely um, Bill would come in and set that up and we'll uh, talk about maybe how long Bill has been in there and maybe how often he goes back to uh, Arburn. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, after you said what the distance was, I tried to do some math. I feel like he's what? Like a, like a, I'll uh, tell you yeah. exactly. It's give or take a about a hundred kilometers. So like that's, I, I looked up that you could walk about five kilometers an hour. So do the math. Okay, like a couple days. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Or like you, you can get four days and a half. Pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So yeah, long walk, but yeah, you might need to do one night sort of on the road. Okay. Um. So that's no. that's Bill. Amazing. Okay. Let me go back to the the group. Um. Does anybody feel moved to, to go next? I might go next if you want. Yeah. Great. Um. I am playing MK Skip Hop. Yeah. I love that is name. I love that name. I love that name. God, I love that. I name. love it too. I don't know where I came up with it, but whatever. Jeez. Um she is a halfling. Um a uh cleric druid sort of mix. Um knowledge domain for cleric. This is my first cleric too, by the way. Amazing. Um so if I do anything wrong, I'm sorry. Um, and Circle of the Shepherd, Jared. Um, she helps her mother and father, um, in Shorehaven, where she is from. If you want to go back to the map, yeah, Stella. I, I will. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I could, yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to show um, off my transition. I love awesome. the map. It's awesome map. <laughs> um, and she helps a, uh, her family with their like healing shop and mm -hmm. uh her father however is the druid in the family mm -hmm. and um till recently normal druid you know can change into animals at will mm -hmm. um but now it only happens when he's angry or very scared and i have gotten that trait so that should make for some fun chaotic stupid moments yeah. Um, and I'm an archaeologist. So my instead of a great axe, I have a shovel. 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 A shovel. That's a new word. <laughs> um, a shovel, and uh, it's named debris. Debris. Because that's debris. what. Oh, that's so good. I love that. Um, and yeah. And I'm gonna make I'm a whole lot like... of you digging yourself deeper. Jake, oh yeah. By the oh way. yeah. <laughs> um, and the, I guess. The only thing I couldn't figure out is, like, how she got to Doronia. Mm -hmm. So I know that 
Um, I was part of kind of like an adventuring party that um, unfortunately did not make a cave in, but I did because, mm-hmm. you know, that's how it works. Because I shovel that's and I have my shovel. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm guessing maybe I like I heard word of, I don't know. I'm almost thinking since Bill has a shop, maybe you guys like sent supplies to my parents. And I heard that like you were going there and I was like, oh, I've heard he's cool. Bill. Go hang out with him. You were mistaken. I have a seven <laughs> charisma. <laughs> Even better. Okay. But my um, honey, my honey yeah. is really good. Oh, oh yeah. Rough, so um, I, I will say Shorehaven yeah. is, um, just for those uh, yes. watching and, and for yourself, Shorehaven is sort of like a really like uh like a port town. And a lot of goods do go in and out of there because the okay. the rich sort of vacation city is Vitus Vale. Um, sort of between the mountains up there, it's like the sort of Banff, if you will, um, okay. where all, it's all, it's like bougie bougie place. So everybody who lives in Shorehaven will be very like quite acquainted with a lot of sort of shipping and backing forcing of goods and sort of like hospitality. You're sort of the like port town on the way to the bougie area of Asteri. Got it. If that like that. helps okay. at all, we can totally put a pin in that. But yeah. you will definitely be you are in a place where people come and go all the time all the time yeah. cool yeah very cool um, i like it amazing so that's mk skip hop yeah just that's cutest name me. in the game sorry just putting it, it really is there. a good name yeah yeah i love it um, <laughs> all right who's jumping in i'd like to go next because i think i have an in for a few people mm. yeah uh, I, so I have a feeling play... i know where you're from <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to be playing Anastasia or Stasi, and she is a uh, warlock of the A, and she's uh, like totally the best fall girl ever, and really is into coffee, oh. aka pumpkin spice lattes. And she is currently in Aronia doing some student life building for the Amith Adventuring Academy and building out the sorority oh, of God. the. Yeah, Alpha Sigma Yoda Kappa sorority. Oh, so if like thing? anyone oh is God. interested, <laughs> if anyone's like interested in student life and you want to come join us in our traveling build out of this college campus, you are more than welcome. Uh, this excited me a lot. So we just sort of like hashed this out like a little bit this afternoon. Um, so in Draconia, the biggest city, um, there is a university called Amos Adventure Academy. It's the only sort of higher learning for adventurers. So each of the sort of houses are split up by a classes. So there's like, you know, the wizards and the bards and the whatever. And uh, Stasi uh, just graduated from Amos in the wizard house. Congratulations. That's so great. Um, I graduated with <laughs> honors, if you can believe it. Bend and snap, baby. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, she got invited uh, over to Doronia, where they are building a, um, like, essentially satellite school for Amos uh, over in Doronia. So um, I will say that, like, I don't know if anybody yet... Um, has been in Doronia for very long, but I will say that Stasi has probably been there a few months, at least over the summer. We will be sort of coming into fall as we talk about where we're starting. Um, so Stasi has probably been there at least for the summer. You graduated uh, and maybe like headed here in, you know, I don't know, June and have been here for three or four months, um, sort of helping as the the fi- finishing touches are going on the school and you're starting to sort of help recruitment, help student life programs come into place. Um, really good pumpkin spice around here. It's really great. Uh, you it's might have honey. been over and talked to Bill. Yeah, got his honey for your, t- for your like teas. I don't know. Um, yeah. Have you ever tried honey and coffee? It's actually really good. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> For sure. So, um that's exciting. So you maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, probably have been in Jeronia the longest. Um, but we've got 
uh, two left. Yeah. Um, yeah. I might, I might, I might go. F well, okay, it depends. Cause like I'm on a completely different place. Yeah. Okay. Why I was gonna Vocal say. Be... Why don't you go last, Vocal? Actually. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm I was gonna... thinking maybe maybe it'll be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I um, am listening to all of you, <laughs> and I've been sitting here with my little character concept since you know mm -hmm. I I've joined Adventures in Asteria officially, and I'm listening to all of you, and I'm seeing all the threads, and I'm just consistently like, hmm, okay, interesting. Alrighty, so everyone, I'll be playing Zeltana Bright Touch. She's she her pronouns. And she is a multi-class of a wild magic sorcerer and a school of abjuration wizard. She grew up in Arburn under uh, alongside her very close-knit family of incredibly talented spellcasters, most specifically sorcerers and clerics. She showed a great amount of talent in her childhood for and a penchant for spell casting. Very, very gifted kid, and had found an opportunity to study at Amuth's Avenging Academy. And while she was there, uh, the the whole idea, my initial concept around Zaltana Bright Touch has always been gifted kid burnout syndrome. Mm -hmm. And Love what that. happens when a gifted kid has to struggle with failure and figure out their own way of doing things? Because her entire passion is about being a wizard. She is a bookworm. She enjoys research. She enjoys the actual, like, nerdy and studying bits of college instead of everything else. Um, and hence, you know, going to Amos was like a big, um, a big deal for her. And her sorcery talents were kind of pushed her to this point because of her innate spellcasting ability. Upon arriving in Draconia, large city, being one of the few handfuls of Furbog that traversed the city, that traversed the university, uh, Zaltana succumbed to a lot of anxiety. And that anxiety being the root of a wild magic surges mm -hmm. and while at university mm. a while ma a one after one particularly bad wild magic surge she was socially pressured out of the university and unable to handle the pressure has run away to Deronia. why Deronia? i don't think zaltana really thought very much when she was running I think the biggest thing that she thought was, I just need to get out of here. I it didn't start off with, I need to get out of this room. To, I need to get out of the school. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk to anybody. And I'm, I'm going to have, and then as soon as she hits the city, I have to get out of the city. Everyone is everywhere. She can feel the threads of arcane energy around her just threatening to snap at any given opportunity should she lose her composure. And she runs to Deronia because it's the calmest place so far. It is a artsy town. There's a lot more space for her to kind of, you know, be amongst people if she can, but enough space to be away from them. Um, her whole situation at the moment is she's trying to, in my mind, as I was creating her to arrive in Deronia, um, she's trying to avoid people. Because she's afraid she's going to wild magic surge again. Mm. She thinks she's an active danger to the people around her. So I'm uncertain on who she could connect with um, at this time. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of options. Because um, Je uh, Jezebel ha is also running from... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And wild the magic. And, and from the same magic. place. I'm going to teach you how to have so much fun with chaos, and we're going to go and fuck up the college. <laughs> oh god, you're going to give yourself to have so much anxiety. <laughs> okay. okay. Is like dismay, <laughs> Stassi immediately gra grabs on, just like, you're my new best friend now. <laughs> <laughs> we will oh, only we talk to, about today exactly how we want to deal with wild magic. Because mm -hmm. I like the idea that it's sort of like up to us to decide. I have some like things to propose, but we can decide as a group how wild magic and also maybe uh, that wild shape happens. If maybe it's the same 
way. Like we can decide that. Mm. Um, so last but not least, our very last character introduction, uh, yeah. vocal outburst. Give it to me. Hello. Uh, quick question before <laughs> yeah. I start. Yeah. How much of the backstory are we giving away here? Uh, give all of it. I, don't give all of it. I would say okay. don't give all of it. I would don't say in your case, <laughs> okay. I do want to know. You don't even have to say exactly where you're from, but I kind of want to know oh. what it looks like uh, when you arrive in Deronia. Okay. Um. So first off. I am Ferno uh, nickname L, he, him pronouns. Uh, he gets that nickname from his sister, and he will boast about it. Um, he comes from a very, I mean, it's a big family. Uh, he is the youngest of six children. Uh, his father is an Earth Genasi. His mother is a human. Uh, and his older sister, who gave him the nickname, is another human. Uh, so we're, we're a, a, a mixed bag. Um, he, I'll say this, he goes, because I'm still trying to figure it out, I feel like he goes to Deronia, not really looking for anything, uh, but especially within, like, the first few <laughs> weeks or days he's there, uh, it looks like he's going away from something. I feel like, like, that's just, like, aura that spews out of him, just, like, he's just looking to get out of a place to go into another, um... And so anyone that he finds, like all new experiences, uh, he's also very young, uh, he's 19. So all new experiences he's going to embrace. Uh, he's going to, if he sees something that is completely different than what he uh, grew up, uh, where he grew up, uh, then he's gonna want to be all over that. Um, he loves adventuring. He is a, a enthusiastic, uh, a charismatic kind of guy. He's a barbarian too. Um, funny thing, I asked Stella, before I started making my character, I was like, what do we not have? Mm -hmm. And I was, and, and I was just making sure, uh, so I, I like to fill the spots every once in a while. Um, and, uh, Barbarian seems like something that we had. And then I wrote my dice and I figured out that, uh, I actually wrote high on charisma. I was like, charismatic barbarian? I'd love to see it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, and so I just decided he's going to be the bean of the group. He's going to be the, the charismatic, uh, kind of, uh, just, just naive, uh, but, uh, kind hearted kind of, uh, of bean. Uh, so everything that you throw at him, he'll want to be there to, to help out, uh, and explore, uh, be, be a part of just, just, he loves taking in all that new stuff. Now tell me, so like you're an earth genasi you look like an earth genasi yeah. can oh you tell gosh. me what that looks like to you um so i my skin is so i'm i'm hu very humanoid shaped like nothing it looks like i'm a human with body paint on mm. um and much harder skin and my skin's gray my hair is silver uh in dreadlocks because i also have dreadlocks i thought it would be easy that way um and um i often don't wear a shirt great because <laughs> who needs why <laughs> yeah, who needs them they're uh <laughs> these, these these shirts are overrated uh uh he, he has a great axe uh i'm gonna I say thought you were gonna axe. say ass <laughs> uh, <laughs> i mean also so that out of the, that's not out of the question either that's not the hey sheer, hey that's not the, the question confidence okay. of it. and he's got a great ass <laughs> that is definitely in there. Stassi's right, already out. Now it's canon. Yeah, that'll, yes. that'll, yeah that, that's that's definitely canon. canon. But you will see for yourself if you want to inspect. But I'm just saying. Like, I, I digress. Um, no, no, no. He uh, he he looks like a barbarian. Um, but uh, his face really gives away um, how young he is. Uh, he has brown eyes and uh, very vivid expressions on his face. So everything. Uh, that he feels you'll see um if not in body language definitely in his face uh so he's so... not trying to hide so he rolls into geronia just mm -hmm. his whole great ass uh genasi self <laughs> rolling through yeah great. um <laughs> he's just he's just rolling in because also because he doesn't know much about the deep history of where he grew up mm -hmm. Um, he knows about the people he's grown up around less, uh, about the, uh, like the, you know, concrete history 
that actually went on in the in the land of Asteri. And um, I feel like he, whether he realizes it or not, um, will have to eventually, uh, you know, deal with uh, not having that knowledge uh, mm-hmm. coming into the city, um, which I find really interesting. Uh, I'm interested to see what you do with with that information because i know what i'm gonna do i don't do do anything yeah well well i mean you know you might (laughs) if i run into an npc and they're just like whoa rock guy he might be a monster i just i i i want to make sure that i have like i know i'm gonna give you flowers uh if if that ever like yeah that's the kind of like guy he is like he's just he's just yeah yeah no, 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 but I'm, I'm interested to see uh, how that's going to work, because he's basically walking into a completely new world and where he came from. Amazing. And what time so of year, every... this is my last question to you, uh, what time yeah. of year do you think he rolled through, noting that we're going to kind of, things will happen, but like sort of the first little bits we're going to do are sort of in like September, October. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's mm-hmm. just rolled into town? Uh or like did he come through in the summer and he's been here a minute or do you kind of want to play it like he just arrived i kind of want to play it like he has been traveling to like there for about a few weeks Mm -hmm. max a month okay uh and when we start maybe he's already been around for a few days Okay. But uh but I still want everything to be like really new for him when he walks in there. It's going to be like he just got there. Right. Um right. and he's going to treat it as such, but uh like he he knows that um like there might be some technolo- technological things that we might not have in my hometown that they have in the city. Yeah. And so like he'll he'll get more adjusted to that. Like he won't be full Captain Rogers and be like, "What is this iPhone?" <laughs> uh but uh <laughs> but he'll he'll Yeah. yeah. You know, he'll still act like a little kid. Um, uh, yeah, uh, there are there are no yeah. iPhones, but... Okay, I'm going to go oh, back no. so we can see bigger people. <laughs> Take away the map, but we can always come back if we need Bye, to. Bye, map. Bye, map. Bye, map. For now. Okay. I am also very young. Yeah. And yeah, I would love yeah. to get everybody's right. ages. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. All right, yeah. We should talk about I'm that. I'm also cause... 19. Okay. All right. Are we the youngest? Right. Nice. Zaltana, I wrote to be 22. Okay. A lady doesn't tell her age, and elves are weird with aging. So I'm going to say appearance-wise, probably late 20s. But for elves, that could be more like, what, a couple hundred? I don't know. Somewhere around there, yeah. Astasi's like early 20s as far as like how she acts as age, just like... I think I just finished my first undergraduate degree. I'm debating going back to grad school kind of age, like oh, right out the bat. Yeah. Yeah. And then a 50 year old. Bill, a bunch of kids. Tired dad and his litter of stuff. Thanks, dad. You literally left to get away from kids, and yeah. now you're surrounded by them. <laughs> I think it would be really funny if I were canonically older than Bill, and when he starts being like old, tired dad, I'll be like, I saw you when you were in diapers. Yes. <laughs> you like look much better years old. Yes. Yes, please. Um, okay, I do want to talk about that super quick. Let's start there um, with connections. Oh, actually, before we do that, because I want to do kind of connections, slight role playing stuff, but I want to get the technical stuff out of the way. So I'd love to talk about real quick uh, how we want to do uh, Wild Magic Surge and like sort of your wild shape. Um, okay. There's a, a couple different ways we can do it. I don't want to have to roll magic, wild magic every time you cast a spell. I feel like that bogs things down. There's a few ways we can do it. We can do it on like really dramatic moments. We can do it on ones or twenties. We can do it on um, an escalating scale where like sort of uh, like the first time you cast a spell that day, if you roll a one, it like it explodes if you and then like do you know what I mean and then the next time it if you stacks. roll a one or a two it explodes and the next time if you roll a one a two oh, or a three oh, it explodes oh, yeah. um or i'm open to sort of suggestions to how and i i prefer just to like not have our brains explode that um our two wild magic people do it the same way um yeah. so do you did you come into this with ideas on how that would work or do you have a preference uh, I do like the idea of 
the culmination of it personally, mm -hmm. just because it plays really well into Zaltana's whole thing of it being rooted in her emotional stability. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am a big fan of the like you roll a one and then it explodes and then it afterwards to be a one and a two and then it just increases because then even if she puts a lid on it and is consistently okay at some point it catches up to her and that's that's kind of the vibe i'm going is for it is the battle between the person and their self yeah. and acknowledging that so things like yeah so yeah. that's kind of my i preference. like that i think that's a really yeah, good way of adding a little intensity to mm -hmm. especially during the battle yeah because that and could be like every total chaos time. And I can yeah. keep a little thing on the side and I will hopefully ask you to do the same in case I, I forget will, or yeah. whatever. But like, basically it'll be like, we'll have, you know, after a long rest, right? You cast mm -hmm. a spell after, immediately after you cast a spell, you roll it, but it doesn't, you roll a d20. It doesn't mm -hmm. explode that first time unless you roll a one. It doesn't explode that second time unless you roll a one or a two. So it's basically like your magic is getting more and more intense as the day goes on. I right? like Until yeah. eventually maybe the like pot boils over or whatever. Yeah. Um, that's the way I will give credit where it's due. Um, I really like that's the way they do it on Dimension 20. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I really liked it that way. Like I've seen it do d happen different ways, but I really kind of like that. It feels. Mm -hmm good and it also feels like it gives a certain amount of power to you i also would love to maybe um we can like gem you're also wild magic right yeah so we can maybe between the three of us pull a wild magic table and edit it to what works for us like pull the sort yeah. of standard one but then alter some things um. like there's some things that I'd like to maybe see on there, you know, and maybe there's okay. some things you'd like to see on there. So I can mm -hmm. post that between us. And if uh, if anybody wants, also I have a Discord. So things like this, I'll post in the Discord if you're curious and stuff. We talk about stuff like this. Um, mm -hmm. um, and then before we start next week, and this can be an ongoing document that maybe changes mm -hmm. as like things be yeah. like, oh, you know what? I've noticed that I really do this with my magic and i would like something on the table that does this we can sort of add that if if that works for y'all yeah we can mm -hmm. do that. Your emotions and stuff too Things like i would imagine my wild magic would be more likely to literally explode rather yeah. than i don't know turn me small or whatever yeah although for zoltana if she's anxious enough then maybe she would turn small because i know that's a thing on the table and then you know you yeah. really do just <laughs> And I'm okay to build nice. if it's like a, like, I don't know, an Excel document, <laughs> nerd yeah. alert. But you can um, do it on like Google Sheets or something. Yeah, where yeah. there's like mm -hmm. a one, if you roll a one on the magic table, it might mean something different for both of you. Mm -hmm. But just as mm -hmm. long as there's like one yeah. do document I look up and then that happens, you know what I mean? And again, like I said, mm -hmm. I think it's really fun to have like a, um, a living document, as they say, yeah. that could change as we sort of explore what your magic does and what you think your emotions or your magic would do when things are mm -hmm. really good or things are really bad. So I will I will get to work on that in the next few days and then just, uh, I'll make the document and what we can do is add notes for each other and stuff and create oh. that document as we go. Maybe the first yeah. few times we play, it's pretty close to basic, but then as we learn and as we like grow as characters and stuff, we can change that. Um, for MK, Tell me a little bit more about how you want your wild shape to work because you know it's yeah we can we can obviously homebrew whatever but as long as it's yeah. consistent well i i've i've played druids a lot they're yeah. usually my go-to thing and i knew i kind of wanted to do something familiar and something new which is why i chose cleric um but for her i think it would be really just based on what's happening like if there's something that she's really really scared of it's almost like rage with a barbarian right we could even make it so when uh vocals character rages maybe i like take on mm. that as well and like i can't control how i feel and i'm just like okay i'm a badger okay i'm a badger okay i'm a badger i love um, an anxiety badger <laughs> anxiety badger um but maybe i can make a random table that i roll on so the animal isn't like oh i'm always a dire wolf because they're epic yeah. you know yeah. and it's just like 
totally useless animals too at some points. Not that any animal is useless. Yeah, I mean, so, but the thing, okay, so the hard thing is, (laughs) like, Mm. we can homebrew that, but then it's like, how do we, how do you want to keep track of, like, because you can wild shape once a day for now, right? I don't know what I think it's twice. Is it twice a day at fourth level? Yeah, it's twice. Um, So, you, I mean, it could be interesting that if either somebody hits a wild magic surge or, you know, L rages. um, Yeah you automatically turn into like your wild shape we roll on the maybe it's a six options or whatever Uh for your are you at half um what's it called rating one fourth i think quarter rating right right now now. yeah so maybe we have a list and you roll a d6 and you're one of them yeah i mean like i added a few to mine but then i was also thinking it could be that it doesn't necessarily last for the entire Mm. combat it's like one like flick in and out of wild shape like which just like is total chaos for me so it's like i'm i'm a bad i don't know why i chose badger, badger but um i'm a hufflepuff whatever um <laughs> like i'm a badger and then the next round it's like i switch back yeah and then totally your emotions like yeah it's just total so well, all over the place so um because I thought that would be kind of a cool way, since she's so young, also, that you she can't quite control it. And as her druid level goes up, maybe she has more control over it. So, um, but, but it would still if, count so. as one of your changes yes, for the day? Yes, absolutely. That's intense, yeah. though, then. I, I mean, if you want to agree to that, I love that. Yeah. And then as you Because I feel like there's, talk, but... yeah, there's some times where I've been a druid and I don't even use the wild shape. Right. Like it's you just like I just like the spells. I think they're fun. So I feel like just being total chaos with even if it's just one round, I think it might be fun. Okay, amazing. Let's do that. Yeah. So like we're gonna have a document and it's gonna have all these tables in it and it's gonna be okay. great. Um so yeah. we'll have the wild magic and then like maybe just like right next to it we'll have your uh wild shape table. And then so yeah. do we so we've decided every time that somebody wild magic surges or somebody rages for now, um mm-hmm. you random wild yeah. shape. Yeah. Okay, or I, I mean that. if there's something really terrifying, maybe it just like <laughs> sure. triggers it and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But uh so for now rage or surge, or I will say like fear, I'll just put fear in yeah. quotes. Um like, amazing. over um overly intense emotion yeah okay um love that okay that's great um also thank you laura i just uh that reminded me of something uh uh, like loving players handicapping themselves for rp not for rp but for do you all like to play with dm um advantage like a inspiration or no Oh, yeah. I've only done it where yeah. my yeah. my sh- the people watching actually give it. Right. That could be fun with amount of points. Um, I do that's how I've that. done it. But I also think it's really great if it's just like maybe you say something really funny or you know. That's how my idea is like a it... really more like yeah, memorable moment. Just that you did something funny, but I always yeah. forget that I have it, so I don't. Like, yeah. I don't know if I've ever that's... used inspiration. <laughs> My, As my a bard. thing is, I have a dice that is, says is, how do you use inspiration, or like how do you how do you do inspiration? Because some people say yeah. um, like you have to call it before you roll. Some people say you can roll and then mm. use your inspiration afterwards. Uh, and some people say it's just a re-roll. Some people say you add something. Uh, like what what do you? Okay, what so what terms? I propose, and again this is all up to the group, but what I propose is that I will give. DMs inspiration rarely because chat will be able to do it as you y'all can see you can use Stella Sense. I'm a nerd. Yay. Just, yeah. To do that. Um and to me it is it's essentially giving an advantage on a roll. Um and okay. you have to call it before you make the roll. Okay. Um got so it. Okay. That's, that's I'm going to give it yeah. very rarely and I tend to give it because I think that the audience tends to give inspiration for people who are funny and make the jokes and that's great so i tend to give inspiration for and eh, we gotta hydrate everybody so, oh hydrate hydrate um i tend to give inspiration for something really like clever like in the game like doing something that i didn't even think of or like something it's more rp or something like that 
for me. So that's what I think we'll do. And yeah, it'll be yeah, like any that. any audience advantage or any um, DM advantage will be like, you have to call it before you make the roll. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Um, and gotcha. I'm okay mm -hmm. with stacking audience uh, advantage, but you can't stack if for some reason I like don't notice and I give you two DM uh, inspiration. It's one at a time. You can't yeah. you can't stack that. Oh. But hey, yeah, if gotcha. the audience is gonna like donate bits for it, just go ahead. Don't let us die, guys. Yeah. Make this campaign yeah, last please. a long time. Clearly <laughs> helpless. Legit. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I will bet. Don't you want to see Zatanna overcome her anxiety? Keep me alive. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Yes and no. Like already <laughs> no. rooting for <laughs> Um, amazing. Okay, I can't think of any other real technical stuff. Does anybody have any other sort of like game mechanic stuff that people do differently that you want to sort of check in on? Back on the pet. Can I have an abyssal chicken or some other pet? And if so, how does that work? <laughs> you can have a pet, but okay. okay. So th actually, this is a good time. I asked this already. <laughs> this will also lead into a short safety discussion because yes, mm -hmm. you can have a pet, but for now, it's just a pet. Like you can absolutely, yeah. you have a you have a cat or whatever that travels with you. Can it still be the fire breathing chicken. I I can just use it as a pet and for comic relief. It can be a a chicken that like I don't know burps ferociously, but like it doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't do anything for now, <laughs> unless I'll look some, at the animals. Yeah, way. Like, unless there's some reason that your, uh, cl like, class or whatever has a familiar or whatever that does things. Yeah, that can summon or whatever. But uh, do note, um, and we can also talk about this, and you can tell me about how you want to deal with this, actually, is that, like, on basically, and this is not something I would do, but on basically everybody's safety survey, it was, like, but mostly a red line to violence mm -hmm. to animals, right? But mm -hmm. what happens if you have your little cat sitting on your shoulder and you get hit with a fireball or something, right? So that's something I want to sort of like, I don't know, find the middle ground for. Which means they are fey magic and so they can't die from spells or be hurt. I was also thinking, because I just remembered this, even though I'm not doing the combat wheelchair, there are mechanics for service animals mm -hmm. and I didn't come in here with Jez uh, having any sort of disability, but since I do have a service dog in real life, mm -hmm. I could look into that and I believe the oh, mechanics yeah. were like the service dog does whatever you would do normally without a role so like opening a door or something Amazing. I'd have to think how that would work for her but that's like my dog uh, would pick things up for me if I drop them so I don't have to bend down and then faint or something like that yeah Amazing. Yeah, I love that. And we I can love make, that idea. We can make it like a fake creature so it doesn't die as long as it doesn't become like OP. Do you know what I mean? Like, that yeah, animal... I just wouldn't use that in combat at all. It was the yeah. same for with the combat wheelchair. If you've looked into that, yeah. uh, if you don't, I highly recommend I can recommend accounts for like D&D &D and disability or combat mechanic, yes. combat wheelchair. Mm. But it's just like a part of you as the player character. Mm. So like the chair and I think the the service animal as well is considered to be part of your body, essentially. Perfect. Uh, but it's still really hard to break or die or whatever because you don't want to traumatize anyone. Yeah. And also, yeah. breaking your mobility aid is awful. And even a lot of wheelchair users, myself included, that is a part of your body. If you touch someone's wheelchair without permission, that's seen as very mm -hmm. rude and even um, can be quite scary at times. Yeah. If someone started pushing me without permission, I would probably scream Yeah. because that could be like an abduction thing. And that's going into something else. But yeah, it's, it's definitely something to think about. And I haven't played a disabled character with mechanics. In one of my other games, I did have a character who used a wheelchair and my DM just made it that all of the animals loved her. So it was run by hamsters, but it didn't have any specific mechanics. It was just animals surrounding the wheelchair. And then if I needed to go upstairs or something, it just did, which was great. And that was really fun. Great. But cool yeah. Cinderella style. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. That was great. She was a Sasonic sorcerer. She could read mine. She was an empath. And then all the animals loved her. It was amazing. That's, that's very that so um, Okay. So we can totally. Very OP, but very fun. Yeah. We can absolutely do that. And I love the idea of like incorporating uh, like a service animal. We did discuss doing the combat wheelchair, which I would say if y'all haven't heard of, I don't have a link on hand, unfortunately, but I I'll do. try and grab it at the break. Oh, I can get it. Do you want to yeah, I would love to see that, actually. So, yeah. yeah, so the main reason I didn't do this is because the creator very specifically does not want 
their uh, wheelchair used on D&D Beyond and only D&D Beyond. So since we're using that, I did not want to go against that. I did email them and ask and they said I could have a second, like a separate character sheet for that. But I figured it would be a bit too much hassle. So why do I not see the search bar on my Twitter? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. It's Mustang Art is the handle. Uh, let's see if I can do that. And I will, it's all free. Although highly encourage tipping if you can. Yeah. Uh, this is 3.0, I want to say, or 4.0. And um, there's also a group that I've worked with that I think is called D&D and Disability, where they've actually worked out various mechanics for disabilities. So there's like autism and postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. So there's things to roll like um, sensory overload or if you start getting vertigo. These are all things that I have as well. So I just realized people might not know what all those conditions are. Why? I can just Google combat wheelchair. Um, but yeah, I think that's really interesting. I could probably do something like to make it not too complicated. Um, I also have OCD. And so sometimes service animals help with that to like stop you from doing compulsions that would be harmful. So like if you start pulling your hair or something. Right, right, um, right. Mustangs really cool. art. I knew it was something. I thought it would. I was going to say, I think there's an S on it. Uh, they're amazing. Also follow their Twitter because they're always like having really great discussions about like disability okay. and TTRPG and stuff. So um, definitely. Here's the link for the Google Drive. Amazing. It's a, it has its own classes. So it has a full combat wheelchair. It has subclasses for each regular class that incorporate the wheelchair in some way, which you can also use without the wheelchair. It has a whole new race. That's really cool. Um, it has service animal ideas. And then the other one, um, D and D disability. I should know what this is. By the way, sorry, crispy tater. I, I set it to not other people, non mods being able to post links because Twitch can be scary right now. I'm getting yeah. a lot of the um, like Haas yeah. extended oh, God, those following are so me. annoying. Yeah. So yeah, sorry about that. But um, yeah. Um, so they are on itch here, but I'll just link the website and amazing. they have currently, let's see here. 5e, they also have NPCs. I know the other one has uh, disabled NPCs with stats that you can use. Uh, so far they have ADHD, autism, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic pain mechanics, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome mechanics, sensory processing disorder, stress point system, which actually Sultana could use, uh, and MK as well if you want. And then there are different supplements and items like braces and painkillers and channeling pain and a medical bracelet and a message pebble if you have trouble speaking or you go nonverbal, stim items, strong painkillers then they have all these disabled npcs so highly recommend okay. i've done some um editing sensitivity reading That's for them I, also, I didn't even know that exists thank you oh yeah it's, it's kind of like awesome. people don't really know about disabled community stuff if you're not disabled i don't think um but once you get on disability twitter like yeah very good i also i think yeah. i'm translating some of these for them at some point i know they have german and french already and i said i would do spanish um, really, really cool. I'm going yeah, to, they are um, always looking for new suggestions as well. I'm going to write myself a note to like tweet these out after, um, because I really, we really did have a discussion about like wanting to use a combat wheelchair and stuff. And I kind mm -hmm. of, it's so cool. I, I want one in real really life. That would be amazing. <laughs> like, oh my God. I want you to have one. Yeah. 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 So cool. I think it'd be a really cool. It would almost be like another character. And you, you know what? I was even thinking. You know, like the spe spell uh, mirror image, mm -hmm. how it's like it's there, but it's not there. You yeah, can almost make like that. it that way too. So, or so it doesn't get oh, hurt yeah. or damaged. The D&D cool. disability people, separate from the chronic, will uh, the combat wheelchair, but similar, mm -hmm. they made for service animals service mimics. So they're mimics, which makes oh, them a lot harder to make. They work as service animals or as wheelchairs. And there's a whole thing about how like they bond to you, they'll do whatever you say, they love you so much etc etc um they're gonna help you with whatever they can it's, it's just it's really nice it gets me warm fuzzies yes, and now so i want to cuddle my dog he's passed out on the floor <laughs> but he's very good boy too and i miss okay so that's amazing i okay so let's do it this way if if you want a service animal let's do that and let's talk about like what that means if anybody wants a pet uh we will make it a fey pet but it will not have any it will not be able to do any combat or anything or help you mm -hmm. like you know surmount obstacles or anything um and it will have like i don't know five hits hit points or something but it'll be able to like revive the next day or whatever essentially like mm -hmm. a fake creature so we will never be like you know yeah, i actually 
random side note with that is um, one of the shows that I watch, which is the Dungeon Run. Everyone should watch it, by the way. Um, it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful show here. Um, the way they actually do that is she is a phoenix. And when the oh, phoenix yeah. dies, it's just an egg again. Yeah. And then the egg has to hatch and then it has to grow up again. So it almost like hits the reset button. Right. So it does die, but at least it comes back. It comes back. I found another... Really that's so cool. But also on the D&D website, I just found that for community content, they have a special paladin subcase subclass called the Oath of Accessibility, um, which is a charity so cool. partnership with the Children's Hospital in Bristol in the UK. So you can oh, donate for that. That's amazing. Yes. They have yes. the Oath for the NPC, as well as if you want to play that. And that's really I don't cool. think I said, but all of these are super accessible. They have uh, what's called pure or clean text reading. So there's no pictures if you need a screen mm. reader. Um, as well as plain language sometimes. So some people have trouble with some of the more figurative language, all that. I could go on about this forever. I should do another stream on my channel about this. Please um, do the stream. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's super cool. If you ever do a stream yeah. in more of that sort of stuff, I would be happy to talk about it because it's cool. You should do that and let me know and we can like, I can help you promote it. And yeah, for sure, honestly. But okay. I don't even want live <laughs> oh, So yes, yes to pets, but they will be fey, but they will not be able to help you except for a service animal may. And we can talk about that if you want to add that and any mechanics that that will have. Yeah, I'll because, start looking for that. Yeah, great. Amazing. Um, okay. Uh, any other little like bits and bobs that people want to talk about? mechanically oh i will okay because we're so, sort of touching on this realm i will tell everybody you know safety is super important uh at my ta table um we we all except for one person and i won't call you out on screen has filled out my uh safety questionnaire oh, uh funny. which is basically a survey about like you know what you feel comfortable um <laughs> doing like talking about uh, uh in a in ttrpg in role play um all of it you know, all the answers I got back were totally expected. I, I off the top say, like, in my games, there will never be, like, mention of, like, sexual violence in any form. There will never be mention of violence towards children in any form. They will never be sort of, like, like human equivalent racism. There will never be homophobia. Um, like, qu queerness, all of that is normalized in my world. That goes without saying. Um, but then the safety thing goes beyond that, for example, of things like whether or not you feel comfortable talking about sex on screen, whether or not you feel comfortable talking about a certain level of gore, a certain, like all of these different things, certain things like, I don't know, teeth and eyes and things that like certain people have like the icks about or whatever. Um, you know, I do it. There's a survey. There's a bunch of them going around. There's a bunch of them that are open source. If anybody wants to join my discord and wants me to send you one, they're they they're really handy and then we have further discussions i think like that's not the be all and end all if something comes up like i did today i asked my group in our private discussion hey i'm thinking that this might touch on you know a nerve for some people is this okay you know check-ins we do that and we also are implementing a sort of a, like a red green yellow system why are colors not working in my brain right now that's right right um where... i have two of them <laughs> yeah. completely okay. uh, if as we go along we touch on something that people really feel uncomfortable with at any point anybody can hold up something red that means um this is a random red business card i had i tried to like blank out the text but anyways uh that means i'm uncomfortable can we stop whatever it is maybe something recently happened maybe something they didn't realize they don't want to like role play comes up we st we'll stop the stream it might happen i might say oh we're gonna take a five minute break everybody and we will and we'll discuss what happened there and what we need to like roll back and undo in the story because after all everybody's more important than the story we're telling everybody's feelings is more important that comes first we're all here to have a good time and tell a cool story we can all get dramatic we can laugh cry rage but we need to do it in a safe place um so yeah colors so if somebody holds up something sort of a yellow or orange i guess it is technically that means like we're approaching something that makes me a little uncomfortable tread carefully you know and then sometimes i will hold up something blue and blue will mean uh are we okay here 
if I start to get into something that's like a little bit dark or a little bit more gore than I normally would or whatever, then I expect everybody to maybe, if they're cool, hold up something green and be like, no, this is cool. Like I'm into the darkness. Let's go. Or, mm -hmm. you know, red or yellow or whatever. So just so you know, if you ever see us like holding up, you know, pens or pieces of paper or whatever in certain colors, that's why we're doing that. Um, and sometimes the colors are hard to see, so I might just say like, oh, sorry, stop, what color is that? You know, but just so you know, that's what's happening when that happens. Like I said, you know, my games completely exclude those said things. That just doesn't happen. Um, but that's the safety tools we have in place. And I recommend that people do that because let's all be chill and good people to each other. Um, yeah, okay. I think that's all the technical stuff, right? For the most part. Okay. It's a little early, but I wonder if we take a five to 10 minute break now, and then we come back and sort of do just like a little bit of like light role play on us coming together in Deronia. What do you say? I'm down. Okay, yeah. amazing. It's uh, yeah. 8 19 my time. Shall we come back at 8 25? Sounds okay, good. great. We'll see you in a few minutes, everyone. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. We're back. Uh, let me know if there's any issues with sound or anything. Okay, that's it. I'm bringing everyone back in and we're going to talk about the game a little more. Woof. Sorry for making you wait, everybody. <laughs> Yay. Hey. hey. Hi, everyone. Hello. First of all, yes, I'm a little angry that I don't. That what? Oh no, you cut out oh, just you after. Cut out, you cut out right after. Yeah. What? Oh. You're angry? Why? That I didn't get. To, I don't get to play Strahd. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> no spoilers, because. <laughs> Welcome. It's like my. I want to play that one so bad. Oh, I've heard too. horror stories, yeah. literal and figuratively, but like. It just seems like such a wild yeah. universe. Yeah. So congratulations. And also, yeah, Congrats, there's going to be awesome. warnings. Congratulations. Apparently it's yeah. like high, like it, it's it's a lot. So it's maybe not for everybody. We've it is. It's very gory. Mm -hmm. Very. Yeah. 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 But like, I'm ready and I'm going to play a whole, I can't talk about it. Let's change the subject before I spoil. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <laughs> no, let's keep talking. Forget about our game. Let's just talk about Strahd. Yeah, we're right? <laughs> talk Strahd. Come on. We um, love our guy. Yeah, we love so our man. I'm going to like cosplay. It's going to be amazing. Okay, stop. Okay. So yes. I have a fun game for the, for the audience. I, what I'd like Whoa. to do is do tiny little, um, like role play moments with each character. But I was thinking instead of being like, who wants to go first? Um, audience, who, I guess I should call them chat. I'm so used to calling them audience. Chat, uh, if you do exclamation point. Our points, fans. <laughs> our fans, hi. Our God, fans. that's weird, that's gross. Take it back. I don't like it. Take it back. <laughs> um, if you go exclamation mark D20, D6, hopefully this will work. Um, we're gonna go in order of, that you see on the screen and that's who we'll start with. So let's see if that works. Um, Terrence, somebody... but I can wait when it comes to me. Oh, yes. Let's see I had a works. question thing to say. Oh yeah, please. So basically, um, I was looking into the Appalachian accents, oh. and I realized that since they're um, a group of accents that tend to be discriminated against, as in terms of being seen as lower intelligence and whatever, if I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do it right. So Amazing. if that's the accent we decide on, I'm going to be studying it. And I was looking at, um, I don't know if you know this, there are different archives online for various dialects and you can learn about them and oh, listen yeah. to them. So I might not be able to do that tonight, but if that's something we wanna do for that region, I'm totally down for it. I just wanna make it yeah. right. Cause it's not incorrect English. It's a whole separate dialect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dialects actually, there's a lot of them. So, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I might do something else. Uh, you're You're muted. M Murphy. No, you're oh. muted. <laughs> oh, we did it. It's I okay. could, I could tell you gonna... were being witty as hell. It's fine. I... There you go. I can hear, hear it. I can hear this voice. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There we go. There we go. In um, back. Okay. So, um, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Marv. Oh, nothing. I just wanted to ask Jem if we were getting like group homework because I was into that. <laughs> I mean, yes. If 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 that's the accent we want to do, I Great. I tend to be really big on only doing accents properly because I never want to sound like I'm making fun of anyone. Yes. That's why I tend uh, to yeah. avoid, like I would probably never do a Japanese accent in English, for example, unless I really spoke Japanese and even then I'd probably still feel a bit weird about it. 
don't even do uh, Hispanic accents, and I speak Spanish. I will do them in Spanish, but in English, I just feel there's so much racism and history around that oh, yeah. that it would make me uncomfortable unless somebody really understood that I was doing that in a natural way, yeah. if that makes sense. So yeah, I will probably do some more research on that. So for now, if you want me to do an accent, I'll just do one that I know, like. German or British or something, but that's yeah. just what I want to say. And I don't want anyone else to feel like they have to do that. I just, that that's how I would feel. Um, Thank you for that. I really respect that. And I think that's really important. And I just kind of, I assume this group would not put on a, like, like, I don't know the word, just like a not respectful all, accent. You assume we would all stay oh, yeah. early. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I will tell you, I am not... Matthew Mercer or or Brennan Lee Mulligan, I can do one accent, mm -hmm. and it's French Canadian. Mm -hmm. It's because my family's French Canadian, and that's huh. it. Uh, there will be some characters who speak like this, and some characters who speak like this, and that's the extent of my. That's my DM talents. style. Yeah. yeah. Like Share in the chat was in my campaign. She'll tell yeah. you. Hi, Share. I've I've, I've totally learned some of your shows Cher. before, by the way. Hello, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, thank you, Cher. I'm just glad a flip that coin. you is it Brit or is it <laughs> um, Okay, so I cannot. So I'm so sorry. I didn't set up the D6, but I did definitely set up a D20. So how can somebody do math? I can't do geography or math. I'll try. How can we divide math. twenty by six? It doesn't so, really work. Okay. That's like three points. Three repeating? No, three point something so let's just like, say like everybody's like three so christina's like one to three for example it's like three point three repeating oh okay six. yeah okay I so first person so that. somebody roll a d20 first one i see if like we get a d20 i'll tell another story or something <laughs> let's not do that okay i'll just start rattling off tongue twisters yeah. in various languages <laughs> yes that's <laughs> amazing um it yeah. helps students with pronunciation <laughs> A 19. A 19. So uh, one, two, three, four. So if we're going by three and three, then 18 and 19 would be the two, or 19 and 20, sorry, would be the two that would be the outliers. If we're going okay. like one, two, three, four, five, I six, would seven, eight, nine. I then one more story about Geronia <laughs> real quick. Not, not okay. a long one, but like, we're starting in the town of Geronia. Geronia is the very like arty town of um, Asteri. So like I would compare it if you're Canadian to like Montreal. Maybe to like Sundance if you're American, maybe to Cannes mm. if you're European. It's a very like, it's an arty town. It's very peaceful. Um, there is the main sort of bar in and performance space there is called the Merry Morn. And it's run by a halfling called Venry Devore. And I will say that the Devores are a very enterprising family of halflings. You will find that across Asteri, there are shops called the Devore Store. There are all kinds of different places uh, run by uh, this halfling family called the Devores. Um, yeah. <laughs> so somebody, somebody else roll me a d20 and don't roll a 19 or 20. <laughs> <laughs> or do, but you know, it'll be me telling another story about Asteri. I'm okay with that. 12. 12. Ah, 12. Mm. So that's Val, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, is that me? Oh, hi. Yeah, sure. I, yeah. I could do math. <laughs> I literally had to be like one, two, I had to like point to <laughs> I love playing d and with like engineering students who can do really complex math, but then they forget what five plus four is. <laughs> yeah. I am not. I am definitely, I always forget which is which, but I'm very distinctly mm -hmm. not. I'm not good at like... Um, visualizing. Um, Same. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm very good with like mm -hmm. language and communication and blah, three-dimensional blah, blah, blah. space. Mm -mm. No, mm -hmm. don't understand it. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm a big theater of the mind kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, engineering students. I'm a lawyer. I, I took law so that I wouldn't have to do math. <laughs> What's up, lawyers? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dutch baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Music. That's awesome. Oh no, we lost somebody! Oh. Murray, you have one job! We lost somebody. We'll give Murph, Murph a second. I do. I gotta say, the overlay still looks awesome, even just with his icon. Like, but we're all yeah. under different names now. So oh no, you're right! <laughs> that's the problem. We'll give it a minute. Hey and... guys, yeah, I'm Valiant. It's so great to be here. Hi, I'm Elle. Oh, I'm a child. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. So, Zoltana. Yeah. 
Yes. Um, it is, it's about uh, six months ago, and you are just sort of on your way out of um, the Amos Adventure Academy. Um, you're, you're taking your leave. Do you, th do you imagine that you lived on campus? Uh, I do imagine that I lived, uh, on campus and, um, just my entire life, all of my dreams were placed on campus. Yes. So you have just had a horrible, you were in a divination class and, um, something happened. Somebody looked at you and said, and sort of like looked over their hand and said, oh my God, can you believe there's a fear book here? Wow. Look at their ears. I know. She's so weird looking. Um, and something happened. Uh, what happened? I was uh, called to just show a, a simple divination spell sitting in front, all eyes on me as I just focused and focused and all I could hear were whispers and voices and people looking at me, eyes everywhere, eyes everywhere. And I just push. Just this thread of arcane energy. I just push it just a little further. So mechanically, I bend luck. Oh, amazing. So you, you bend luck. What are you, we're not going to like roll any like yeah. for this particular moment. Um, what mm -hmm. were you trying to do? Um, I believe that Zaltana was placed in a position where her first attempt at the spell failed mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And the spell that you were assigned to do in class? Assigned to do, but basically yes. we are being cold called Socratic method, um, cold called, asked to do assigned assigned reading, do the spell in front of everybody, and so there is something that didn't teacher work. has put something behind a screen, um, yeah, out of a out of a, a drawer of a bunch of objects, and the mm -hmm. the assignment is to like divine what's behind the screen. Yes, that be that works. Yeah. Um, so the first time, y your mind races, and you know that like the handful of objects, there's. There's a sword, there's an apple, um, there's a, a cloak, there's a pen, and all of these items are rushing through your head and you can't visualize what is what the professor put there behind the screen. And then you like focus. You bend your brain to sort of go back, almost go back in time or undo or retrain what just happened. Uh, and then what happens? As I push the arcane energy further and further, and I feel the confidence, I feel the nostalgic memory of how easy magic was to me, how good I am at magic. I am worthy to be here. I deserve to be here. And I push too far. The tether snaps. And all around me, almost like a whirlpool of arcane energy, of purples, of blues, of light greens, like that of rainbow fluorite, just spans around me and like a whirlwind snaps like a whip, sending objects, people, pushed back about 10, 15 feet from where they were seated or stood with myself at the center. Wood, wooden floors splinter, desks break. And the, the, the divination known professor, screen. professor stands up and says, Ms. Bright touched, how dare you? We have told you time and time again, this is a simple divination spell. I'm going to have to ask you to leave this class. I will let you know if you are invited to return. Leave, now. Zaltana just eyes welling up with with tears snaps instantly her gaze upon a particular figure of immense pain as she is in this university 
hours away and immediately just just runs away from this room not even looking at her professor you run back to the dorm to grab like the few things you brought here and your roommate justine a halfling happens to be there um and looks quite quite far up at you uh, zoltana what uh, don't you have a divination now i i can't be here right now i the i i'm i can't be here right now no what do you mean i can't she stops. My magic is not safe for everybody to be here. And she just, she doesn't even pack most of her things. Most of her things are still in the dorm, a lot of the furniture or like larger books she keeps in the dorm, but she just grabs a satchel that she ropes around her and as she just rushes off in to leave the room, she looks back at Justine. I'm sorry, I I can't do this anymore. Oh wait, I thought I thought we were friends. I I thought we were gonna go change the leaves. We were gonna go practice changing the leaves on the grounds. I can't do magic around people right now. I'll, I'll only hurt them. And Zoltana leaves. Zoltana leaves. And as you leave, you just hear Justine saying, I'll be here. I'll be here. I think you're very powerful. Just full tears. Pulls on her, her mantle, her cowl, and she just kind of ups tries and as she's moving uses her furbolg magic to disguise self as not herself but as just an ordinary student someone forgettable a face that is forgettable and just keeps walking a slow walk turns into a march then as soon as she leaves the campus it turns into almost like a light jog as she weaves through swaths of people hearing their voices feeling their eyes on her look at that verbal oh my god did you know it's her heart pounding in her chest she can still feel she can still taste that snap of does arcane energy on her? i don't think she should be enchanting herself on the street who is that i don't know as you walk you can just hear a bunch of whispers following you a few days later it takes you a good four or five days to, to make your way across, you know that you have to um, go south and sort of go right along the coast to avoid walking through the Great Scar. Um, and you've arrived in Deronia. Uh, do you sort of like go into town or do you camp outside? The sort of like, this is a medium sized city. It's pretty, like okay. it's small for what we think of a city. A few thousand people. Yeah, um, I think I think she'd go into town. I think, you know, she as soon as she arrives back in civilization after a long journey from Draconia, she is weathered, she is exhausted, that she doesn't mind being a little closer to people if it means she can sleep on a nice bed. Um, and she kind of just walks through the, the streets, it's less claustrophobic mm -hmm. um, than the... Um, busy, bustling city of Draconia, and she's already finding a little bit more comfort, despite the whispers. Um, she does not disguise herself when she arrives in Deronia, but she would try to find the closest, like, cozy, cozy inn, just something not too expensive. She's already spent quite a bit of money just to travel here. Um keeping her spell book close to her as she tries to find a place to stay. Well, without a doubt, everybody would recommend the Merry Morn. It's more or less the only place to stay here. It has about a dozen <laughs> rooms, uh, and that's always mm -hmm. been plenty because, you know, even though Deronia does get quite popular um, in sort of during theater season, uh, a lot of people <laughs> will camp uh, and the lucky few will get um, uh, a seat. So this was, let's say uh, you were in school that was, you know, 
first semester that was maybe like you got through until like winter semester you got through until maybe like mm -hmm. may let's say yeah and it took you a while to get here it's now you know may when we start just so you know it's going to be like late september but this is when you first arrived in sort of may mm -hmm. in deronia you've arrived at the merry morn and there is <laughs> another halfling uh there at the front desk and and you open and there's a lovely ding 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 there's a lovely chime on the door um you sort of have to duck a little to get under the like lintel here and sitting there is this like swept back black hair this halfling in like a green vest oh good day good day how are you welcome welcome to the merry morn how are you this fine beautiful spring day how can i help you you look thirsty. Can I get you a drink? You look hungry. Something to eat, perhaps. Um, um, I just realized I didn't describe how Zoltana looked. Um, she is a seven foot two fur bogue. Um, she has brown hair and a beautiful brown skin. She is quite beautiful in a very, very plain way. She doesn't wear wake up. She is um, very practically dressed in um, heavy robes as is expected for any spellcaster um and she always has her hair tied up in a in a long braid that cascades down her back and um bright gray eyes um that almost that almost pierce anyone with her gaze um part of the intimidation i'm sure mm -hmm. um but as this incredibly welcoming um host welcomes her into the tavern she's like, uh, good day i am um, i was just Food, food and drink would be really nice, actually. Um, but uh, I could I was also wondering about uh, um, room availability. I I know it's coming up to theater season. Um, just looking for availability for for, for rooms and and such. You are you are so lucky on this fine spring day. It is a fine day, isn't it? You are so lucky. <laughs> theater season is opening. Our first show opens in now. Oh gosh, what is it now? Ten days. You're just in advance. We do have a couple rooms open. Uh, I, I don't know how long you're going to stay, but I might not be able to keep you here longer than 10 days, though you'll want to stay longer, I promise you. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. don't know if uh, you might have to push a couple of beds together. You are a tall one. You are very uh, yes. tall. <laughs> uh, but no problem, no problem. What can I get you? He's nice seeing this like hunching. <laughs> um, trying not to like because her ears are quite long so she can uh if she perks them up they can knock things over so she's just, like your ears are just barely like brushing the ceiling like yeah there, like... Are, there are tall people here but an over seven to foot tall person is very tall um yep uh and they they offer you a room and mm -hmm. uh they ask how, how long how long are you intending to stay um I'm not entirely sure, uh, actually. Uh, just to clarify, when is our campaign starting properly? September, you said? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to be staying a while. I think I, I've i always heard such good things about Teronia, and I just kind of want to stay for a little while. It's the best city okay. in Estere. You've heard correctly, correctly. You have, well, look, I can give you a room for, like I said, nine nights, but there are a handful of cottages you can rent in town. Oh, I should introduce you to Bill. Bill talks to a lot of the people who rent the cottages down uh, mm -hmm. by the, uh, I guess we call it a gulf. Maybe it's a river. Nobody's really sure around here. It's a, uh, it's <laughs> contested. It's, you, you see, she kind of like murmurs <laughs> just outside of hearing. Just like, it's definitely a gulf. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I'm gonna have you roll the first roll of the campaign. Do you even yeah! have your stuff handy? First roll. <laughs> um, I do. I always have my dice on. I would yeah. love for you to roll me an insight check on this halfling. Starting off great. Insight, you said? Yep. Six. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yep. He's we're, really we're nice. Starting great. Yeah, he's really nice. He's really nice. Um, okay. And he, he sets you up with a room, and uh, mm -hmm. you, Doronia is awesome, 
and you spend basically the better part of the summer here. Um, what would you say you do over the course of the summer? You would probably need to get some kind of work. I, 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 you tell me, did you come to Deronia with a ton of money to just live? Or do you imagine you'd have to make some kind of money? Um, I think that she would have brought most of her money with her. Mm. Um, which is money associated with, I would assume, like accommodation fees, registration fees, and being able to be at the university and tuition and uh, buying books and whatnot. So I think she had money okay. for um, the for the most of the period of the months to tide her over. She's beginning to run out of money when I think the campaign would start. Okay, is so when she would run out of money around the end of the summer. You find yourself with only about fifty gold pieces left to your name. But you've okay. been able to sort of spend the summer, get to know a few people. You've probably met Bill. Uh, and maybe mm -hmm. we'll see if you if you met anybody else. So we'll leave you there for now. Um, can mm -hmm. somebody roll me another d20? This is a fun way to do it, right? <laughs> Bright lights, big city indeed. Yeah. <laughs> the like medium lights, medium city of Geronia. <laughs> Five. Uh, Five. Oh, oh, wait, wait. No, oh, not one. you. You don't. You don't get to roll. The I audience, wanted to roll one. The audience is rolling. You'll get to roll. One. No, a one is it's perfect. One. And that's actually oh, perfect. That's going to be Christina. Um, okay. So, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. You, um, you arrive here um, probably about a month after Zaltana. Uh, you have completed your school year, and you've been asked to head over here for the the fall semester. Um, but spend the summer in Deronia helping to build the satellite school of Amos Adventure Academy. So you also went there, but you are now get graduating. Um, and uh, you're, you're getting paid to go here and start up the sort of the student life here in Deronia. And uh, you arrive in uh, probably June. When does the school year end in June, let's say? Um, right. I, guess, I guess I could make that out, but let's call it June. <laughs> Um, and you arrive, and the first person you are told to find is the mayor, the mayor of Deronia, um, whose name is Dorna Hearthspun. Uh, Dorna Hearthspun is a blue dragonborn. And uh, you're told to like go and find her at uh, Deronia City Hall. So you go to City Hall, it's a, it's a one uh, floor, large sort of white sandstone building. Um, there's a ton of meeting rooms and things in here, and you get the sense that this is sort of the where all the decisions are made in the town. And there is uh, there seems to be a mayor there, and um, she welcomes you into her office and says, Ah, oh, good day, good day, welcome, welcome, Anastasia, is it? Yeah, you can you can just call me like Stassi. It's it's fine. Stassi, great, no problem. Welcome, welcome. I hear you're here from Amoths. We're very excited. Um, building is going very, very well so far. We're actually ahead, if you can believe it, right? Construction, am I right? But we're getting ahead on it. So far, so good. Um, we only have pretty much the groundskeeping to do. We need to add, you know, like the shelving. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome. Tell me, tell me if you might, uh, a little bit about your plans here. I mean, as you know, we're a lot smaller than Draconia. Um, we're looking to maybe only have about 50 students to start. I know that's probably nothing to you but that's a lot to us um we definitely uh want to have like a heavy theater program um different things like that but like what are you what are you thinking i like that that all sounds really really good uh you know i'm definitely a graduate of amen i was a sorority member of beta alpha sigma yoda kappa so i'm used to hanging out in front of lots of crowds so uh, you know, if, if you guys want to expand upon your theater program, I'm happy to pass out pamphlets or, like, talk about it when people come into town. I know you guys have that, like, big theater performance thing that happens during the year. So I, you, we can get a lot of people and get them interested during that period of time. And it happens, I, you know, we've done lots of fundraising and, uh, you know, lots of different events at the sorority. So it, it should be really, really easy to kind of keep things moving as, as everything's done with the construction. So do you think we should do like, um, I, I don't know, it's like wondering if maybe we could do student nights at the Mary Morn. Um, we could That's do like maybe some hikes, some hikes um, towards the lake. 
I don't know. Like, what kind of things did you do back at AAA? Yeah, um, so we did a lot of dances, and there were a lot of dinners we did, and we we did some, like, chariot washing, and, and things like that. Um, chariot that washing? Normal, normal group out. Yes. Yes. Okay. That was a good fundraiser. Wonderful. Okay. Great. This sounds great. What I would love... Um, from you, if you don't mind, um, maybe make me a list, make me a little budget over the next week or so. And what we can do is like iron out, you know, like I said, we're a lot smaller than Draconia, as you can see. I apologize. We're just a little town, but we're lots of fun around here. Um, we do it's have- It's okay. A it's really quaint. I love it. Thank you. That's really, uh, that's from the big city. It's really nice to hear. Um, we've got a little cottage set up for you. Um, it's, you know, it's a short walk. It's only a 10 minute walk to the Merry Morn and that's the place to be around here. Um, we're planning on doing sort of like a weekly uh, check-in here in City Hall about the new school. So you're of course welcome to that. Um, is there any other questions you have while you're here? Ah, and she pulls out like from her bag this little like coffee mug that just like has like the writing on it that says it's fall y'all and she is fully dressed in fall clothing even though it is summertime like she is like all fall aesthetic it does not matter that it's hot she's just got a crop top on and that is it and she's like I really like coffee is there a good place to get coffee around here I haven't seen anything just walking through um, you know, uh, Venry over at the Mary Morn has an okay cup. Um, you know, that's something we could really improve on. Put that on your list. We could, we could make a student coffee shop. Can you believe it? Like the big cities, we could do that. We could call it, I don't know, like, uh, Twinkle Bucks or something. I don't know. We'll work, we'll workshop it. It'll be great. Um, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, so <laughs> roll me. Uh, an insight check, if you don't mind, on uh, the mayor here, Dorna Hearthspun. Imagine we all beef all these insight rolls and we're all like, great, Doroni is excellent, nothing is wrong. We're so safe. Yeah. <laughs> it is excellent. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Oh. On that 20. Yes! That's amazing. Yeah. 30, 20, yeah. Uh, Dorna is a mayor. She's the nicest person you've ever met. Like, you roll into town and people like here's free lodging all of your ideas are great we're gonna work on them like everything here like it's bizarre everybody here's a yes person everyone's like that's a great idea let's do that also do you want to be in our play you should come to our sing-along tonight um it's a little bit disconcerting okay you are Too like nice huh yeah these people are lovely um there, yeah, especially you find, which is the most bizarre po point, is that everything that goes on in City Hall, there's like no debates. There's like it's like okay, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a meeting at City Hall, and we're gonna decide what to do about like I don't know the like waste issue over by the docks. And there's like all you know, you went over here like some bickering over by the docks. People get into City Hall and they're like, you know what we should do. We should all just work together on this. I bet you the best solution is that we could work, like you could do this and I could, that's a great idea. You know what? I really like that you're here. I really like that you're here. And um, it goes great and decisions are made and this town is run amazingly. The city hall is the most efficient, kindest city hall you've ever seen. Okay. So we'll leave that there. Um, can I grab another D20 from the audience? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why are you guys scoffing? It's a really lovely place. I don't I'm know. just yeah. it's so many Dang. nice people. It's such a nice place. I really want to live in Jeronia. Oh yeah, it really sounds good. like Minnesota. You know, everyone's so nice. It's called it the was... Minnesota nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, that's actually a thing. But Minnesota nice is not very nice. <laughs> um, so what's a seventeen? I, I think it's vocal. Okay. Vocal, I think. Yeah, I okay. Vocal is you. We're going to start like a little bit uh, later for it, you. It's, it's on stream. We're switched. So on our Discord call, oh, I am yes. last on stream. You are before, yeah. you are after me. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't know I why. Like, no two, worries. Yeah, me and Christina are switched yeah, yeah. too. Yes. Got it. No worries. It's, so it's, like a, it's like a Persian rug. You have to make a little bit of mistakes on purpose because we are <laughs> faulted as humans. 
So <laughs> let me live. Yeah. All right? Something mm-hmm. like that? Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, vocal, or for now. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. we're going to start a little bit later. Mm-hmm. It's sort of like um, late August. You have set out from your home. Uh, you packed a little boat, which you, your family would have like a handful of these. You live in a coastal region. We can get into where later, I guess. Um, <laughs> but your, your family is very much, like you said, they're rangers and things. They're very much like live on the coast. They have a lot of boats. They go around um, and you know how to like pack for travel. You have crossed a certain amount of water. <laughs> it's weird to be vague here, but anyways. Uh, and you've, uh, you've arrived here in Doronio. You arrive at the docks um, and emerge. Uh, there are just like, you know, five or six boats here. You It looks like about four of them are just local fishing boats. And one of them looks like a sort of like cargo boat that you imagine. Mm-hmm. How much would you say you know about sort of the towns and cities around here? Ooh, um, I haven't been to the docks. Okay. I have But would you know, in, like, Vitus yeah. Vale is over there and Draconia is over there and... or not, Oh, not at all. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. No, 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 no. Okay, so yeah. one of these boats just, like, looks like a cargo boat. You can pick up that much, mm-hmm. but you wouldn't have any idea sort of, of where it's going. Hey, ladies mm-hmm. of D&D, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, you emerge on, on the dock. Um, you know enough to know that it's probably safest still to, like... I need to know boat language. I don't know. Park your boat? No, I I don't either. Okay. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. I can help you. Mount yeah. the boat. Tie it off, tie I think off is what you do when you tie to get off. Yep, yep. Can I use my bonus action to mount the boat? You mount <laughs> <laughs> the boat? Board? 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 That board? is a sentence you only hear in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You so we board a boat. Oh, yeah. Board a boat. boat. And, and what? The boat is the boat. Oh, yeah, Murphy, you and know Starboard. about these things. Perfect. I do know about okay. these things. You do know. Is about he playing the same character he did in the no. one shots? He did no, no, okay. no. Uh, very different. <laughs> uh, okay, very so different. Uh, opposite charisma scores. <laughs> <laughs> For now, um, what did you say? D- do you, what? Get, how, how do you say get off a boat? D- disembark. Just- Disembark. Okay, yeah. you disembark. Oh, yeah, yeah. I your, your, your boat, and uh, you look around. <laughs> it's sort of, you just happen to land here in sort of the evening. It's around 8 o'clock at night. Um, you look around, and it's pretty empty. Are you going to walk? You see, like, not long, maybe a 10-minute walk from here. There are a lot of, like, lights, lanterns and torches and stuff that look like there's, you know, a small town here. Um, mm-hmm. Would you go walk straight towards the town, or do you want to like sort of camp out the night or anything? Um, is there a forest nearby? Uh, not nearby, but you can sort of see like a patch of trees that look to be maybe like an hour hike away. Like okay. north of here. I'm most likely going to walk towards, if it's not too far from the city, because I might, mm-hmm. I am probably going to go to the city in the morning. Yeah. Uh, but uh, right now, I just. I, I want to be with the nature I'm familiar with, so I'm going to go with the trees. Uh, just for jokes, uh, Bill. <laughs> also, living outside the city. <laughs> Roll me a perception check. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. An insight check Wait, on the trees. I am not <laughs> going to lie. <laughs> what is my... These guys uh, seem like the... liars. <laughs> that's the 16. Okay, Bill. You mm-hmm. see... Um, yes, ma'am. You are sort of like, I don't know, like in, I, this is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I imagine you built your little stand, your like honey and, and tackle stand, um, and you probably just sleep there. Like it's probably like a little cabin. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I figure this, <clears throat> I mean, I don't need on the railroad under a story, but I figure that he has a, like some kind of a, like a cart, stage coach, caravan kind of something that, He's come to Deronia before to sell stuff or do, you know, hawk some honey or whatever. Uh, and so he has something. I think he camps near his, like, little caravan vehicle. So you didn't even build yourself, like, a cabin. You just camp at night. Yeah, I think he great. just camps. Okay, great. So, great. He's a ranger. Um, Maybe he's a, le- a lean-to or something. Sure, yeah. It's something. like a nice setup by now, but, like, yeah, yeah. okay. Just some shade from my caravan for me to hang out <laughs> yeah, on her. Yeah. yeah. So you see about a hundred feet away from you, 
somebody it's very dark um for now do you think you would be carrying like a torch or anything or do you just like slip it in the night uh definitely slip in the night okay so you barely see you don't see what type of person or anything uh bill okay. but you see somebody disembark nailed it um <laughs> about like a hundred feet away uh and this is this is fairly odd for Doronia. um do you do anything if I can see that he disembarked and he's like farther away than I can see with my dark vision mm -hmm. and is just like wandering into the toward a wood, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna track, I'm gonna follow him. Okay. I'm gonna tail him. I'm gonna tail him, yeah. I wasn't gonna do interactions, but it just felt right. I wasn't it gonna did, do it. I was gonna say something. I'm like, I'm in those woods, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here just we go. Felt right. So we'll make it relatively short, but this felt right to me. So um for now, you're in you're in darkness. It's it's mm -hmm. like I said, it's like eight o'clock, and there are stars here, right? Like it's not, mm -hmm. you know, it's a beautiful. You're near the water. There's torches, probably a hundred or two hundred feet away into town. So it's dark, mm -hmm. but you can definitely see shadows of people and stuff. So, um, Bill, you don't know, but there's somebody. I imagine Bill, maybe I don't know. Bill, do you put out your fire or anything? Do you have a fire going? Would you be visible? Um, what what time of night is it right like now? Like 8 o'clock, it's not that late. Oh, then no, I guess I probably had a fire out, uh, fire on. Um, but he's got, he's got dark vision, so I figure yeah. it doesn't have to necessarily be for... for yeah, for right now, like, you know, for now it's like 100 feet away, so he's outside your dark vision, you can just... Yeah, I think this is some, this is going to be some post-dinner cooking embers mm -hmm. that are left in this fire. <laughs> okay. So, uh... <laughs> Go ahead, so what do you, what do you do? You see this person, you don't know who, uh, disembark, yeah. and sort of start walking, you're like, let's say you're inland, you know, a bit, and sort of towards the woods, but like not deep in the woods. And yeah. you see this person starting to head sort of towards you, but more straight north towards the woods. I douse my like I there's a, a there's a bit of like squinting and scowling, like what the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But I think I if I'm gonna tail him, what else am I doing on okay. a whatever day this is at 8 p.m. Exactly, um, whatever day this is. You so yeah. do you try and tail him stealthily? Oh yeah, like I'm keep, I'm keeping. I'm just keeping him in my dark vision. So we're gonna do an opposed uh, perception check here. So for now, roll me perception. Uh, Bill, roll Got me it. stealth. <laughs> I wasn't gonna get this far into it, but like, let's see, Ooh. real quick. That is going to be a a sixteen for okay. me. It was a thirteen. Okay. So uh, for now, you do see um, somebody like douse. You see like. You don't, you know how you don't notice things until they're not there? You notice a fire go out and a shadow like kind of slink out and start to come towards you. Like sort of like you're going this way and mm. like Bill, come, you don't know it's Bill, but like somebody starts coming mm -hmm. this way. Um, and I light my torch. Oh, all right. Well, now it's kind of been clear that you both see each other. Yeah. So what do you do? <laughs> so do you do to do I, um... <laughs> so uh i find the nearest tree to me i place my backpack on like the side that's closest to me uh of the side of the tree um and i take out my my great axe uh in one hand and torch in another i'm like is anybody there <laughs> i mean i it, before i respond i feel like it the you sound your age right like Yes, Bill is just realized yes, very, I'm calling a child right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? E e I'm... Evening, evening, son. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm not. I got no weapons on me right now. Um, the the closer you go, uh, get to like the the fire, the more you can see uh, Fernell's face, like fully inspect your f like like body, just like, whoa, are you like? A different kind of like human because <laughs> you're totally not janasi that that is correct i am i am not a janasi and you are not from around here uh no <laughs> but um it's totally okay i i'm i'm friendly i don't i don't know oh, how I, you have I, to... I believe i believe you're friendly uh 
How old, how old are you, son? Uh, 22. Are you trying to get a drink right now? <laughs> I'm not. You were going to. What's in the test? Okay, so I'm, I'm. I reckon you're not 22. That's fine. Um, I. I, did I, I don't. Did I, uh, well, uh, I guess. I guess it, maybe. You're not. You're not in trouble. It's fine. Uh, I just. I, I just don't know you. I. I. I, I don't my, know if I should trust you or anything. I mean, that's fair. My name is Bill, and I can tell you that you can trust me. But if you're smart, you probably won't trust that. Uh, for now, actually, both of you roll me an insight check on each other. Cool. Great. I love this. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm rolling so good uh, right now. Bill, can Yay. you guys answer me that riddle me this real quick? Riddle you this. How 19. often, like, do you sort of stay out in your little, like, lean-to by your car most of the time? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm on, I'm on a, the dad, tired dad version of going on a, like, wellness retreat. I'm just taking <laughs> some <new> time. <laughs> I pick up odd, odd jobs and, you know, anything rangery, you know, adventures bounties there's a monster out there go get it kind of stuff to make money and whatever but and i go and i sell honey in town but i don't like doing it because there's so many noisy people so you don't spend a lot of time in the like in geronia proper no he's a solitary man okay okay mm -hmm. so uh what did you both roll a 19 oh great I rolled an 18 okay Woo! so since you yeah. both rolled <laughs> really recognized high, game. I'm going to let yeah. you both tell each other, like, what you're trying to give off. And that's, like, what mm -hmm. the other person perceives. Because both of you are, like, giving something off honestly and accepting yeah. that sort of, like, well. So, like, tell me, I guess maybe we'll start with Bill. What are you trying to sort of, like, emote to for now? Um, that it's... Oh, um, I think I was just kind of reading the situation. Um, that, like, that he—I don't know—that he—that he can that he can trust me. Right. Okay. Like, I, I, like, I'll read the situation that you just clearly got off that boat, and mm -hmm. you seem like you have no idea where you are. So I don't think you were on that boat, like, in any kind of above board way. I think you might have stolen away, uh, mm -hmm. and like, I'm. I have plenty of children myself. I don't. That, that makes me feel kind of bad that you're gonna wander around and maybe be vulnerable. So like, a little, little worried. And I would say for now, um, are you trying to lie to Bill? Because if you are, it like doesn't so, succeed. So, I was. <laughs> okay. I was. Uh, and like, like, like you just said, like you don't believe that I'm that age uh, at all. Um, but uh, everything that you just said uh, is exactly. Um, how um Pernell feels and i'm gonna say that because you can see it on his face and you just having the experience that you have that's that's blanket that's just like full full like surface level you that's exactly what's going on here so this is like the heat of summer this is sort of like late august you know a few weeks before mm -hmm. he even starts to like think about getting cool um what do you imagine we might as well do both of you what do you imagine do you I guess for now, uh, uh, what do you do? Do you sort of like want to hang out with Bill some more? Do you want to go into town? Uh, we'll start there. What do you think you kind of do once you're here? Um, I'll definitely say that I will. I will want to go to town the day after I, I, mm -hmm. you know, uh, head or just disembark there. Um, uh, <laughs> and whether or not I do it with Bill is honestly up to bill it's not that fernell's gonna ask bill to like hang around it's more that he he, he acknowledges your existence and sees you as a friendly uh kind of person and so if he happens to run into you again uh it like i he'll just be more open i guess more friendly and he knows he knows where to go to for a friendly kind of aura so yeah, that's the gist. I have a, I have a question for you now. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, were you planning on sleeping out here? I mean, trees. I, I mean, I I gather from this whole 
<laughs> feel you got going on that you're kind of one with the earth? Uh, yeah. It's uh, Earth Genasi. He, like, points to himself. It's the, the skin. It's uh, the hair. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a thing. You, got, you guys have more Earth Genasis here, right? Not many. Not many? Like, like, what do you mean, like, not many? Like... Like, are they, like... Hmm. Like, Bill, you probably like scattered never around? seen Yes, yeah. like, you might be the first one I've seen since I got here. I'm the first Earth Genasi you've seen? Apparently, I'm the first Orc you've seen, so... <sighs> Sounds right. like we're even. <laughs> Uh, I, I asked because I, I want to know: Are is something going to eat you if you stay out here, or are you okay to stay out here on your own? Oh, I mean, it's probably fine. I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, I I like company, so if you're well, around, I guess I'll be around with you. Okay, well, I don't I don't spend much time in town. I have a little caravan over there where I feel like you might have seen me, uh, and. If you need anything, I'm over there. If you need to eat, come on over. No pressure. That sounds, that sounds like really great. Please don't do the whole like uh, uh, treat like taunt me with moss in a wheelbarrow because my parents told me about that one and that's not supposed to be a thing. Like that's that actually sounds, a really bad thing. That sounds very specific and I will <laughs> never bring it up again. Okay. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> the um, I will end the, I will move on really quick because I want to make sure I give time to everybody. But, um, uh, Bill, re real yeah. quick, um, give yeah. me an insight check just in general about Doronia since you've been here. You've been here okay. a good few months trying to get yeah. away from your blended family. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my wellness retreat. Yeah. How long would you have come here actually just for the summer type thing or what was your intention? Yeah, I think so long as the, like, I'm, I'm my short-term plan is to do it while the, uh, like, the weather's good. Right, okay. So you're going to, like, probably, head, the plan was to head back, sort of, probably, once it starts, the weather starts changing type of idea. Yeah, but, like, I, he has, like, a deep-seated need for some adventure. Sure. So I'm not sure exactly sure. How, how committed he is to going back. Okay. Um, just give me a general insight roll about uh, your vibes on yeah. Geronia. I rolled, it was only a nine. Great. Jeroni is really friendly. Mm, um, I heard. <laughs> for now. I do spend doing my great. <laughs> outside of Jeroni, so it's not, that, that tracks. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, for now, man. the uh, this uh, we'll do, do 30 seconds here. The first person you see sure. uh, the next morning, so you probably spend the night, uh, build another, like, I don't know, do you sleep in a tree? You build a little fire? Doesn't matter. Outside. With uh, I, I know how to make a moss bed. Yeah. <laughs> the no jokes. On the ground, but not in a wheelbarrow? It's listen. It's it's a reasonable resource, and a lot of people want it. But you can lure people into a situation they don't want to be in with that. Okay, so I, I like to I like to you know keep a distance, safe. I genuinely you know? do not understand if this is alluding to something, and if it is, please text me. I'm so confused. And neither do I. Bill, Bill is making a note. He's like moss as currency. Oh, okay. MK is gonna bring this up as well. I've got it. It's not an awesome thing. It's a game. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a game thing. Nobody gets it. Okay. Um, the next morning, you head towards town. The first um, person you see is a young probably. Ah, hello! Look at this! We're getting a wee raid right here. Welcome, Ooh, Diesel Shot wee. and friends. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi, oh, Raiders. Hi, Raiders. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, We're Raiders. just, oh. uh, doing some little intro to the campaign, so we're just going around and doing a little, uh, tiny roleplay with each character for now. Mm. Um, right now, we're uh, doing a little scene with our Earth Genasi, Fresnel, who's just arrived in this town called Doronia. Uh, the first person you see in the morning when you head into town is this young, probably even a couple years younger than you, uh, dragonborn mm. uh, boy, who's like heading out, like fishing pole over his arm. It looks like he's just gonna mm. like go head out and like do some fishing uh, off mm. the docks that you rode in on. He literally just like stops about like 10 feet in front of you and sort of like mm. stares up at you. Uh, I know, so I kind of like do the whole double take thing. Is it Hey. Ah. Uh, Whoa. Hi. You you have scales on you. You. Is that like armor? Is that like armor? 
Oh. Oh. Uh, this is this is my skin. Is that your skin too? This is my skin. What? That's so cool. No, that's so cool. No, that's so cool. Wait, is that your skin? You're not like wearing rocks. Do you wear rocks? No, 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 no. This is actually my. You can feel like feel my arm. It's like really rock. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Do you work out? It's. I well, I mean, yeah, but that's I mean, it's rock, so it's a physical. It doesn't really change that much, right. it, it, physically. It's yeah, but I mean, your scales are super cool. Oh, anyway, thanks. Is, is there like, like, just wondering, like, is there like a kind of like place where people genuinely sleep, like a big tent or uh, like a like a whole row of bed mats or something? I I mean, I, there's, I hear there. Pla- oh, are you here? Oh my god, are you here for the new school? Are you going to Amos? There's a school here? Yeah, they're building a school. I... They're building a satellite of AAA here. Can you believe it in Jeronia? I only understood like 60% of that sentence. Oh, okay. Uh, but I... They're, I, they're I doing that sounds a amazing. Camping trip. <laughs> I think you could join them. But if you... I hear some of the students are staying at the Merry Morn. You could, um, I, I don't know if they have any beds left, but oh my god, so my mom is the mayor. If you want, I bet you she could find you, like, somewhere to stay. They're building that some, would be like, amazing. student housing, I think. That, that sounds really great, yeah, uh, is, uh, how, is, so your, your mom's name is Mayor? And, like, my, there's a, I no, don't- No, she is the mayor. Yeah, what? That's, that's her name, right? No, her name is Dorna. Dor Dorna Mayor. I don't or understand she like to be you Mayor? at all. I don't really understand much about this place uh, at all. Where'd you come um, from? Did you come from Draconia? <gasps> Do people look like I... you in Draconia? No, I don't know what that place is either. But I am a traveler. And I have been around. There's just not this place. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, Mom told me to go and catch some fish for the, they're doing like a town hall meeting with the school and stuff this afternoon. And she told me to go and catch some fish for her and they wanna do like a cookout. So I'm gonna catch a bunch of fish. Do you know how to catch fish? Whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, that, that was like a lot of information. How about I just go talk to your mom, Mayor, and then we can uh, just work from there. Okay, okay, so see, so, okay, if you look really hard, straight ahead, like, right ahead, do you see that, like, uh, white building? You can sort of see it from here. It's the big, you can't yeah, miss it. If you walk straight ahead, um, it's the biggest building in town. So that's our city hall. It's kind of lame, that I know. That is really big. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait till you can see inside. It's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it's whatever. Um, so... Yeah, go in there and just ask for Mayor Hearthspun and, uh... How long uh, did it take to build that? I don't know. It's been there a while, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. Anyways, my name's Wilson. Uh, yeah. So you can say that you met me. Uh, Cornell. Nice to meet you. Okay, well, I'm gonna go fish now. Nice to meet you for now. And he, like, uh, walks off. And he's just staring at the- he's staring at the <laughs> city all this entire time, just like, yeah. He starts, like, walking towards it as if he's in a hypnotic trance. Just starts walking <laughs> towards that? that big hall. Um, and I'm not even going to give you an insight check because that whole conversation, I think half of it, you didn't even understand the yes. words. <laughs> yes, it was just like, exactly. this is a small boy that has scales. I don't understand. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. So you go and talk to the mayor. And the next mm. few weeks are very confusing for you. And we can get into those more when we all come together. Okay, we've got two left. So, um, Chad, if you don't mind rolling a uh, exclamation point D20. If we go 10 or under, we'll do cat first. If we do 11 or over, we'll do gem first. We've got two left. Give me that D20. I should have got more water. Oh, right. Water <laughs> drinking. That's a thing. Yeah. Mm. I keep forgetting yeah, how no. much I talk during these and like never, I need to like get a bigger water thing. Mm -hmm. Fun um, fact about me, I don't feel hunger or thirst until it's much too late. Oh, no. So if I don't oh, have yes, actual reminders. Oh, yes, Sam. Please stay it's... hydrated. Yeah. Uh, I have this massive gum that's bigger than my oh, head. I, I love please roll a d20. I've been making a beautiful picture, but 
I also like to play D and D. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know if anybody's listening in your chat or cares. So I. Oh, I can. Uh, yeah, whoever's first. Exclamation point. D twenty. Oh, there we go. We Ooh. got one. You rolled a nineteen. So Gem. Yeah. Okay. So Jezebel comes. Mm -hmm. You. You were kind of on the run. Yep. From Draconia. Uh, yep. Tell me what this uh, trick you did. So, Daronia is sort of run by like a, uh, a, a handful of governors. Um, and you, I would imagine, maybe are at this, like, somehow found your way into this swanky party um, mm -hmm. for like the governors and stuff. Can you tell me what, what you're doing? What kind of trouble you are causing? Oh no, we just lost your voice for a second. Really? Oh, you no, you're back. You're, you're, you're back. back. There we go. What what is the um this PG thirteen? Yeah, most people checked R, so we're okay with like, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I think I'll just be at one of those tables entertaining a large group of people as I always do. Uh, but I might make a little remark about how one of the governors in particular was a bit of a snore in uh the cloth, if you get what I mean, in the bed. And so I made a little, a little ditty about it, let's say, and I will perform that with my little lyre. And he, he might be standing there, or she, I don't discriminate. Um, so well, you can tell me whether it was a he or she in this case so that we can role play it out. I'll go for a she. Okay. So you're playing this little, like, kind of insulting ditty on your lyre. Um, are you trying to be at all stealthy about it? No. I don't know what salt is. Okay. So this like woman with like this human woman with this like very tightly sort of braided like red hair pulled back in like these gold hoops and stuff turns to you. Jezebel! How dare you? Darling, I, mean, I haven't seen you in so long. I thought you'd left town. Are you finished joking? No, actually, the song has another verse, which you have to hear it. I've been so actually, I didn't spend that much time writing on it. This thing's just. Come I don't believe to me. this one has an invitation. Please escort her to a room where she can learn a little bit more about how to be respectful in public. Never been so insulted in my life. I wish I, I had a couple my, guards. I don't know where my fans are. I have a bunch of those like fan fans. Uh, so I'm going to. Gasp in outrage, and then Roll cast chaos bolt and run away. Okay, you. We're not gonna. We're just. This is your backstory. It happened. So you ru somehow you like. I think probably you have a couple friends here that you were entertaining, and they see these mm -hmm. guards start coming, and they like stick their legs out just in time to like trip these guards for the split second it takes for you to boot. But mm -hmm. you see, like, sort of as you're running away. This like, do we name her? Who's this woman? What's I said name? Miranda because that's Miranda. just what popped into my head. Yeah. But we can go with Miranda. Great. You see Miranda like ordering guards around, and you know that if you come back here, you'll be in trouble. I'm yeah. just gonna go cackle maniacally and run away. She like picks up her goblet and, and like chucks it at you. Feels me. Au <laughs> revoir, <laughs> darling. I. Well, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone else, but, uh, cheers. Don't you dare show your face here again, Jezebel. You, I'm so pretty. It's an appropriate name in the end. <laughs> well, my mama always did say I'd grow up to be a whore. <laughs> Running like mama always said. Um, <laughs> so a few days later, um, you also uh, make your way to Draconia. You imagine that you know a handful of people here i think in draconia so you are you are actually able to like spend a night or two and like collect your things and get ready to go you know that if you stay too long you'll be found but you'll be able you, you are able to like collect your things how do you think you head to Daronia? um you know that like directly sort of to the east is the great scar so you'd have to go all the way around um mm -hmm. or take like a super long way around um what sort of method do you think you do? You, do you think you travel leisurely? Uh, what, what do you do? So I think the chaos would have changed my sort of Aladrin look. So this also fits with the seasons. Instead of being sort of like a chill spring 
new exciting fun i think is what they say for it i'm just going full summer so my hair is gone to like this orange to yellow gradient which i couldn't really get on the picture but i tried um and my skin is fairly tan definitely darker than what i have here um just think like sun kiss i think that's what they say and i'm just gonna go with my massive bag that's like look like a like an overnight purse bag nice, and i'm yeah. just gonna go out to the road stick my thumb out uh, maybe start singing something. I don't, what's a good traveling song? I'm on the highway to hell. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and just wait for the next lovely person to come pick me up. Um, you get picked up by um, a, uh, a horse and cart. There, there are two people here. There are two young people. And they roll up and they're like, I love that jam. You know Julie and the Bard? I do. I wrote a few songs with them back in the day. That's incredible. We heard that the other night at the party. It was so good. Uh, where are you headed? We're we're taking a bit of a long trek. Uh, we hear that they're opening a satellite of AAA and Doronia. We're gonna go check it out. We hear there's gonna be some cool, like, frosh parties. <laughs> well, I'm going as far as you'll take me, darlings. Oh, all right. Well, hop on in. Uh, we can't cover your food or anything, and if you pitch in a bit for the horses, uh, we'll call it even. Deal? Of course. I always sing for my supper. Uh, and they and you make a couple friends on the road who who take you and you uh, make it all the way to Geronia. Um, once you get there, you uh, I got, we're gonna hold there because I'm gonna see if we can do one more scene just for funsies um, with last but not least MK Skip Hop. Do you have because we kind of held the at the beginning a bit like why you were coming to Geronia? Do you have like a little bit more idea after all that? Oh man. Um, I definitely feel like after the accident, she kind of didn't want to go back home. She was like embarrassed to like let her parents down. She's kind of like that, you know, only child syndrome. Mm -hmm. Um, and so she just kind of takes her stuff and starts, starts walking. I would say because you were in Shorehaven, you know that every mm -hmm. summer, um, Jeroni has a theater festival. And it's very likely that you could go there and get a job um, as an Yeah, usher. I would probably be like, oh, yeah. well, that's close by. I'll, I'll head back that way. Yeah. So you you head over to uh, Doronia um, and you go, we're going to send you back to the Merry Morn. You go to the Merry Morn looking for a job. <laughs> Um, it's sort of early, it's probably June as well, maybe May, mm. uh, late okay. May, you arrive uh, at the Merry Morn and uh, our, uh, there is a, this time a female halfling wearing two long braided black braids and a little green vest at the desk, looks up and says, oh, good morning, welcome, welcome to the Merry Morn, how are you this fine morning, isn't it a fine morning out, can I get you anything, something to eat, you look thirsty. Are you done? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I, yeah. Oh, um, it is, it's a wonderful morning. I know. Um, I would love a, do you have coffee? Yeah, or we tea? have coffee, we- Or juice? Yeah, I mean, all of the above, uh, whatever you need. I'll have all three. Great, no problem. And you see her start like pulling glasses out. Do you want them like all together? I've never tried that before, sure. Great. And like puts everything in a blender with some ice. <laughs> um, great. Uh, there's a magic blender here. I've decided it's just happening. Um, <laughs> really there's like a wizard just doing yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Passes you this large, like sort of stein um, with a, it's sort of like a juice, coffee, frappuccino situation. Um, great. Um, so that's going to be um, one copper piece, please. She gives her a gold. She doesn't know any concept. Like, of... makes you change, passes yeah. it back. Um, oh. So, um, are you are you looking to um, see some shows this summer? I, I haven't seen you around before. Sorry for, for presuming. I just assume you're not from here. No, not from here. Um, from the shore. <laughs> oh, up in Shorehaven. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. We get, we get a lot of tourists from there sometimes over the summer. Even sometimes some of the rich people from Bidas Vale come down here. Boy, oh, yeah, do they them. have money. Oh, it's great. You tip us well. Not saying. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Um, no, I get it. Yeah. So can I... Do you, are you looking for a room or... Room would be great. Okay, wonderful. It's um, it's a silver piece of night. 
Um, we're booked up, uh, you know, we, we could probably put you up for about a week and then we're booked up after that, unfortunately, but there are some campsites and co some cottages you can rent out. Just perfect. Wonderful, wonderful. So what are you excited to see this summer? I wouldn't mind seeing the play. I've never seen the so they're doing a Midwinter's Fall, of course. They're closing with that. Um, they're starting with a Starlight Sky, though. I like that one. I find it a little dark myself, but I'm so excited for a Midwinter's Fall. That's my favorite. Of course, it's everybody's favorite. Have you seen it? I don't know what you just said. It's it's, it's a play, you know, <laughs> by Four Shadowlands. No. You've never mm -mm. seen it. Oh, you're in no. for such a treat. Um, and just then the door opens and... Uh, Somebody with uh, orange to yellow hair sort of rolls oh, in good. confidently with another couple, uh, two elven students sort of trailing, um, like hitching the horse outside. Hello, I'm guessing this is the uh, local establishment. Yes, welcome, they have welcome. great coffee. Yeah, we can, apparently we do like a good mixture, um, coffee, juice, we've got ale, we've got a nice wine, we bring it in from Dwillam. Um, hello, welcome to the Merry Morn, my name is Veronica. Um, what can I do for you? Are you looking for a room? Are you looking for something to eat, something to drink? You look thirsty. Yes, lovely to meet you, Veronica, darling. Um, that coffee juice thing sounds absolutely horrific. Uh, if you drank that, and she looks at MK, I, I might want to go see the local healer, but you know, to each their own. Yes, I'm looking for a place to stay. Uh, what have y'all got around here? Well, like I just said to your uh, small friend here, I'm small too. It's cool. I, we, we love that around here. I don't know who this person is. I was just giving a bit of general laugh advice. Oh, we're all friends in Geronia. So um, anyways, we have we have three rooms left, like I said, um, for about a week, but then, you know, the theater crowd rolls in, um, but you can get probably a tent or um, a cottage. You know, it gets really busy around here in the summer. Probably like 50 people come in. It gets wild. Which play are you going to see? Yeah, 50 people. Oh, um, well, I came here on a bit of a unexpected trip so i'm looking for some work would y'all be needing any extra performers singers dancers actors oh. i'm a triple threat well, actually i'm a quintuple threat but you know i like to say triple so nobody gets too intimidated i'm already intimidated me too that's all right darling all right yeah well you yeah i can see that um so i was looking for more than a room y'all mentioned something about a cottage i don't sleep in a tent but Okay, well, um, your best bet is to go up to City Hall. Sometimes they assign the cottages out there. You know what's great, though? They are doing auditions for the play. Um, I think starting on Friday, um, three days from now, um, you can go ahead and audition. And, I mean, I can tell that you'll probably get a big part. My advice would be that you try out for a Midwinter's Fall. You know that one. And by the way, yes, it's a very famous play. So anybody who would yes. have ever seen anything, they would know. Oh, of course. I already played Helena uh, some time ago. I would be happy to try again. Thank you for I'm picking up that joke. <laughs> a little surprised to hear that y'all are casting now with your Theta Festival so soon. But uh, it seems like y'all do things a little bit differently around here. So I will be happy to try and figure it out. Okay, okay, wonderful. And um, and you, um, would you like that room here? Are you looking for a job as well? I wouldn't mind one. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So I would say I think they're also hiring for like ushers and things. You're gonna have to talk to Venry, who's my cousin. He runs this place. He'll be back tomorrow. But if you want the room for now, um, that would be wonderful. And so, Jem. I mean, Jezebel, you go off and audition for a play. And I will say that you definitely get a role if you want one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the second play of the season is A so Midwinter's cool. Fall, and you can definitely um, get a role in that play if you like. Yeah, I was just looking for something for some sort of like steady source of income. Be a little bit easier because I don't know how long I'll be here. Great. But I have absolutely no loyalty to this theater company, so if I need to disappear in the middle of the night, I disappear in the middle of the night, and I hope my understudies be practicing. That's perfect. We'll so they set you up in a little cottage. Uh, if you you can probably get a better if you want if you want to spend the money, but they'll set you up in a cottage with the cast. So you'll I'm good. yeah. So you'll have a little cottage. Um, MK, 
you get a room and then if you like you can get a job over the summer sort of being like an usher and like a seat filler and um sell ale and so you do that and i would like the two of you to roll an insight check over your experience this summer in Doronia. Oh, okay oh, spoiler alert it's doing? really nice Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna try to steampunk dice. They have gears inside them. Don't oh, fail is... me. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh okay. So insight's wisdom anyway. So I rolled a two oh, and I got a four no. because I'm for some reason proficient in that skill because my wisdom is plus zero. Look, it's gonna be really surprising to you, but everyone in Deroni is really, really nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> of course everyone oh, is double with me. No. I got a nat one. Oh no! <laughs> we got both in one session. Can I? Can I See, proper? Can I? Can I? Uh, get the first haggle. Can I roll with disadvantage? Just, just to see. I might. I, I might. I oh, might yeah. get like. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, because you. Yeah, yeah I was betting on fine. you being the first one to get sucked into this. Clearly, you spend it I down. just. I think it would be so funny to get there and be like, "This something's off here." It's us. <laughs> and you're the only one that thinks. So. Oh yeah, and I'm all world weary and shit. Now we can roll me at flat. Huh? You can, you can roll me at flat, and over the over the course of the summer. Oh, I can roll you at flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah beautiful yeah i was just gonna say like in your interaction with wilson it was like i don't know what's going on with this kid but then you spend the summer there so give me a roll for your time no, oh god is it bad did you make it yep i <clears> wish <throat> it were better um it's an 11 okay everybody's really nice <laughs> everyone dang is... it <laughs> everybody's really nice we're screwed we're never leaving here california i'll give you this too many nice people you find that um you you tend to like i would imagine or you tell me um stay at like camp sort of like you know with bill or like more in the trees or whatever because i imagine you don't really have money right right uh so, yeah no yeah so you're not no. going to be able especially in the middle of theater theater season you find that there is um the people who are like more like camping out like the you know vendors come into town or whatever people camping outside of town are like normal <laughs> so to speak but the people in Deronia. <laughs> They're really nice. <laughs> Interesting. So I make that really distinction. Nice. Just like these guys are act one way. And, okay, got, yeah. it, got it. Got it. And I will say, yeah, uh, Stasia with the with the only with the nat twenty on that. You distinctly everything that happens in City Hall is amazing. Like so nice. Everything sort of in Deronia is really nice. When you go out to like sort of like, you know, when you go out to like the student you know the students the new students that are like camping or whatever until they've built the student housing there's like n normal like there are some arguments they're like whatever um so i'll give you that we're gonna we're gonna end this way with a question it is um late september and it is the last show of the season it's held outside at the merry morn they're doing a midwinter's fall my original idea was that none of you were there, but I'm going to scrap that. It's going to be up to you if you're there at, or not. It's the last show of the season. Jezebel, are you in the play? Who of you would yes. go see the play? I will say, you know, you all have enough money or whatever, or have like met somebody. You can go see the play if you want to. Money is like not going to get in the way of that right now. Would you or where would you be? So you said it was at the Mary Martin, right? Yeah, so you were working there. You were probably, yeah. again, um, um, yeah. I have now coined a drink, my weird <laughs> concoction, and I am now, like, serving it as, like, the <laughs> show drink. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that is so great. Yes. Yeah. Brandon. I think, I think Fernell would, uh, would, want, would be so enthusiastic about it and show up uh, three quarters of the way through. Okay. You missed the <laughs> most of it. Yeah. 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 He, yeah. he just, yeah. I have an He'd love it. He'd love it. Yeah. What is the drink called? Ooh. Yes. Get back to me. Okay. okay. I'm going to sit oh, here and think. Yeah. Uh, it's an important, important one. It is important. Yeah. That is very important. That is very important. Uh, Stasia, be Zoltana, Bill, uh, would you see the play or would you not? I think no. 
guess he would be there with like a group of prospective students, like just like leading the po like possible freshmen around, just like, oh yes, look over here, they've got the play going on. If you want to stop in and see it, I recommend it. It's really nice. <laughs> I got I, it. I personally am off two minds with Sultana. Um because I don't think she would have gone over the Wild Magic Surge and being around a ton of people. But she's also, based on what we've just roleplayed, she's been here for a while. You've been here so for a while. So I, I guess, yes, so I have, I have a question uh, to you, boss. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> You can yeah. tell this is going. Haggle, <laughs> haggle, haggle. <laughs> You've been her of the DM ego already. <laughs> May I roll a flat, like an insight check for the entirety of it? For my stay at Deroni, because in my mind, Zaltana is very intelligent. Mm -hmm. And if she at all thinks something is up, she wants to know the answer. Great. Yeah, you can throw me an insight check. Or if you want to, mm, yeah, insight or perception for, you know, since you asked and you said boss. <laughs> I mean, that's just advantage in itself. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm going. laughs> uh, what is my insight? I think they're both the same insight and perception. Yeah, they are. So that is that is a 19. Okay. Yes. Nice, so nice, you nice. now keep in mind, I will say like, it's sort of important for me, like in RP and stuff to remember what you know and not what yeah. the other characters know. So mm -hmm. you now know, along with Stasia, that everybody's here really nice. <laughs> Everybody mm -hmm. in Deronia, especially in like sort of like the city proper, are exceptionally creative, exceptionally kind. Um, you have probably, you tell me actually, have you been inside City Hall, do you think, in the course of your, would you have any reason to go to like town meetings or anything like that. Uh, Zaltana is a very, very curious individual, and she is incredibly dedicated to her craft, and that is being a bookworm and being knowledgeable and on her journey to becoming a wizard, right? So, if there aren't any like libraries that she would peruse some documents, she because in America and in the UK, you can go to City Hall to mm -hmm. get like access to books and knowledge and things like that. So I, I think she might, ha if we needed her to have a reason, I think it makes sense for her to be in City Hall at least a couple times. Okay, Just for to that, go and look and have answers. Because of that reason, um, you would definitely go to City Hall. Because you know that in City Hall is housed the original manuscript of A Midwinter's Fall. Um, wow. Yeah. Very so cool. this book is uh, over 300 years old. Um... It is, uh, I will compare this if people know, do you, if anybody's ever heard of like the Book of Kells, um, it's like an ancient, beautiful manuscript. It is one of the only pieces of like art and culture that survived the Great War 300 and some odd years ago. And it's housed here. So when you found that out, you would probably definitely go and look at it. You're not yes. able to go anywhere near it it is in like a very protective like glass case it's in a vault they open the vault during the day and let people go in and like look at it kind of it's like mona lisa style it's like behind glass mm -hmm. you know behind a stanchion you can like look at it you can't touch it or anything um but there are guards there and that is sort of like the pride of deronia because they have this original manuscript there's also a small library in city hall um that you can just like borrow books from you do notice that city hall is beautiful the craftsmanship of this building, there is um, like carvings on every wall. There is so much art here. Uh, it's lovely. You notice that everybody in City Hall is so kind. People are practically speaking in poetry in here. It's lovely. Um, and in Geronia proper, people are quite nice. And then, <laughs> you know, sort of the further you go away, it's like, it's almost imperceptible, but at a certain point, then it's just like normal, I guess you could say. Um, so all that being said, do you go to the play? <laughs> it would go to the play just because of this manuscript and it's so important. 
she'd want to see what's up. Okay. So, and very last, because I'm going to try and end on time. Bill, are you at the play? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Nat, uh, Bill tried to go when he was in town, saw the play things happening, like, tried to go Did a couple of times. Did you get my drink? No, it sounded <laughs> terrible. <laughs> He's not I got a name for it. I got a name, though. What's okay. the name? Okay, Laid on Spicy on Badger. Spicy Badger. That's uh, I, have that. a subs- I have a follower who's called Sneaky Badger, and I keep thinking of that, and this makes it even more so. Because Spicy you know what? Badger. Like, I went with the Badger theme. We're just going to roll with it. Yeah, yeah. go yep. for it. As you are. Can I say, go ahead. can I ask Bill for uh, a ticket in, to, the, to, the, to the theater? Could that, could that be my way of, of getting there? Yeah. The show? Yeah. Be like, like find a way. Hey. God, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, like, and it's not that expensive. They want they want <laughs> people to go. Gold. It's outside, <laughs> like there's oh, benches. Okay. Yeah, it's like okay. one gold piece or something to go see the play. It's not like going oh, okay, to the opera okay. house or whatever. Yeah, um, I was thinking, I, I was envisioning the opera house kind of thing. Yeah, that, no, that no. Makes, that makes it's sense. outside the Mary Morn. Uh, there's like an outdoor stage. Nice. Okay, nice. so nice. you're all at the play, mm-hmm. except for great. me, except for Bill. You're you except know you. about five hundred feet we'll away. We'll find you later. Yeah, um, you're all. I'm, like, I'm hunting. I'm doing something else while it's quiet. <laughs> Everyone's at the play except for Bill. <laughs> mm. It's wonderful. Oh. It's such a good show. Jezebel is amazing. Like <laughs> rapturous performance. Intermission happens. People mill around. It's great. They're drinking all the feisty badgers. You can get yes. one with a shot. I like that even better. Wait, what did you say? Bad. I said spicy. Oh, I like, I like feisty. I like Let's go with it. Feisty's nice. That's yeah. better. Feisty's, nice. feisty's good. Yeah, I like it. Feisty good, badger. Yeah. And the, you so get... people actually drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people... They don't. Tata's sure. drinking it. Yeah. <laughs> you can get a shot of vodka in it if you want. And I Anyways, feel like so as I'm oh, passing yeah. them out, I'm like, I know her. She's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you all are at the play. <laughs> And, I um, show up then because you said this is after after intermission, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'll you up, roll I'll in, yeah. And like, I roll in, it's like end of Whoa, intermission. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, so decorating the Merry Morn are all of these like suits of armor. Oh no! All of a sudden, oh, no. a suit of armor comes to life and swacks Jezebel in the head. Oh. You hit the ground. There's chaos. A bunch of the actors are getting punched. Everybody's We're both trying to hold. Yeah. A whole bunch of people jump out of the audience and within a few minutes take down this animated piece of armor. But then everybody hears an explosion. You look over and you see smoke Probably. drifting from the roof of City Hall in Geronia. Oh no. And I... that's where we'll begin. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> you can't do that. I want to play more. She's already got the cliffhanger <laughs> thing down. Yeah. We We're going to be a awesome. team. Uh, thank oh, you so I'm much dead. for so um, hanging out. Hump. Super Session Zero, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I appreciate uh, y'all yeah. so very much. Um, we will let's go around super quick. Um, give your your name, your affiliations, um, and where people can find you. And we'll be back uh, starting at that point next week. Uh, let's go, you know, like backwards this time. So let's start with Vocal Outburst. Oh yeah. Um, hi, I'm Vocal Outburst playing Fernel Laethi. Pronouns he him. You can find me on. Uh, uh, pretty much anywhere twitch uh tiktok instagram vocal outburst on twitter it's different it's v outburst that's the only variant uh little social media handle uh yeah uh and is it wednesday yet can we yeah. coin that oh. can we coin that is it is wednesday it yet is it wednesday yet, <laughs> okay. is it wednesday yet? <laughs> hump day baby i'm gonna ha- start yeah. hashtagging i think hump day homebrew yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> Hashtag adventures in the Hashtag hump day homebrew. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's do gem. Uh, tell uh, us where everyone I'm... can find you. Sorry? Tell us where everyone can find you. Also, yeah. Uh, disabled and fab everywhere on social media. I've decided if it's okay with everyone at the end of each test, and I'm going to show what I've been coloring because Yay. it actually really helps me focus a lot more than I thought. So 
this is what I've done this time. Oh, oh, God. This is so pretty. Oh, oh I love it. Oh, so by right. Camilla Derdico. She does a uh, surreal pop art. It's really, really, really cool. Oh. I have lots of stuff I can show y'all later. But Amazing. yeah, um, so come see me talk about languages and disability stuff. And currently, I'm very distracted because there was a spider and I was trying not oh. to distract it. But as soon as it's done, I'm going to find and kill it. So Whoa. done. Uh, amazing. With an iron will. <laughs> yeah, I, I live in a basement, so I always have like spiders in the corners, and I'm like, oh. yeah, game. Anyways, I, um, yeah. <laughs> Val, give it to me. Hi, everyone. I'm Valiant Dorian, and I play Sultana Bright Touched here in Adventures in Asteri. And I can, I'm a Twitch variety streamer. You can find me at twitch.tv slash also spirit bear. I am also on Twitter at Valiant Dorian and on TikTok at also spirit bear. You can find me find me there and it's gonna be so exciting yeah can't wait for wednesday well, I didn't see that part. <laughs> murph list your social medias for me hello i am murphy i do not have an internet presence i am but a humble shoemaker and tired <laughs> gay <laughs> uh yeah that's about it and recovering drag queen We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. How long have you been? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, since since just before the pandemic. Yeah. Yay! Here's your chip. I don't like know. And a half <laughs> chip. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I'm a recovering burlesque performer. Yeah, but uh, you want to do it again. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh, fair, if I fair, do. fair. Anyways, doesn't matter. Okay. Fair uh, later. Cat, what's up? Hi. Um, I am Cat or Catherine. Um, I am a streamer, DM, player, travel blogger. You can find me on my link tree that Stella has so awesomely put in the chat. Um, I also have a Discord where we also play games, lots of one shots and all kinds of fun stuff over there. Um, and I play MK. And I am so excited for Wednesday. Holy moly. Yay. Holy moly. Yeah. Holy moly. yeah. Um, and last but not least, Xtina. <laughs> Hey! Yeah, so I am uh, Christina, Xtina, Tina, whatever. Uh, I'm pretty much across the board at Greekachu on all social media, and uh, I, you can also find me playing Winterra Dark Knight over at Agents of Damned, uh, Agents of D on Twitter, and then Agents of Damned pretty much everywhere else. I run our TikTok and everything social media, pretty much. Um, but here I'm playing Anastasia Feothorn. Amazing. Can we also just talk real quick about how Xtina's background is the background? And it like, do you know what I mean? Like it looks kind of mm -hmm. amazing. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, thank you players so much. I'm gonna pull you out of stream with all of my thanks and love and we'll be back next week. Um, if you're going, if you're chilling in Discord, please mute yourself because I'm gonna talk about some stuff for a minute. Um, but thank you so much. We'll uh, talk soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.